No, that is it. And there goes Norbert with the fatality. Fatality. And we have just begun. Oh, and a nice head kick. Is Jenner gonna move on? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Brandon, Brandon with the win. He knocked out the champ. That's what? Wow. For Mortal Kombat's very own Rich Pavizio. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Slam it. That's literally. The 60 hit comp. But because of the fact that you eliminated the show in the Tekken 3 tournament, I have to adventure L. So guess what? Don't take this ass kicking personally. I'm sleeping on it. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. He does oh, it. Oh, he does it. Yep. Not Steven Lucas. Definitely not sleeping on it. Got to give it up to Michelle, though. Steven! I do. It is all over! The return Barber of Bale! Bale the two champion! Bloody Wars champion! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Whoa, hold on. What? Test, hold on. Stuff happens almost all the time. Go, go, go. Le wh what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is JP Pitts, your host of the Bloody Wars Tournament. We are here live at the Galapagos Arcade in Brookfield, Illinois. Presenting to you guys the Mortal Kombat 1 Tournament at the Gal... Mortal oh. Kombat 1 from nether realm from 2023 due to a time crunch that we've got we're just gonna go straight into the bracket how are you feeling king uh, it feels good we're just gonna jump right into it not even wasting any time no we're not well actually not really waste time of it i'm looking at the bracket there's a there's a little something weird going on i think we're gonna fix it yeah but, but yeah we're gonna jump right into it how you doing king i'm doing quite well um played this game at home i have it at home I was here the day, well, not the day that, you know, the man himself unveiled this cabinet, but, you know, it's been a definite piece of uh, Galloping Ghost history as it has been sitting here throughout time and time and time for a while now, almost yeah. over a year. Sure. So it's definitely nice to see this cabinet get some uh, tournament time, and I'm excited to see what people are going to do. All right. We're going to get started. Um, let's... Go ahead and talk to them a little bit more. Right. Just some, well, tell them about what's going on in the tournament. Well, I'll explain it quite frankly in my own way. Um, again, it's Mortal Kombat. I mean, what else is there to know about it? But, I mean, you know, it's a great game, great series. Uh, personally, in my opinion, kind of wish it was uh, MK11, but, you know, one day, one day, one day. But, yeah, Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be the game tonight. I really wish it was MK11, too. Uh, Josh is uh, getting the folks off of the practice side for everybody so we can get this party started. I'm still suited up because, you know, I love my suit. All right. I guess we will start off with... Who's our first? Koalas Cobb Ka versus Malik. Koalas Cobb and Malik. A lot of traffic in this one, folks. It's going to be a lot of traffic in this one, folks. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of traffic. Malik? Okay. Yeah. 
All right. So. It's going to be a lot of traffic. It is a lot of traffic. It's a busy Sunday and, you know, St. Pa Patrick's Day. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. It's going to be a. This is going to be a fun time, Brandon. Wouldn't you agree? I think so. It'll be definitely entertaining. It's looking uh, looking pretty red hot. Looking pretty red hot. I think uh, probably a fast tournament, too. He's Mortal yes, Kombat. Yes, it will. He's Mortal Com the Mortal Kombat is a very fast-paced game. Yes, it is. It's very fast-paced. Probably, uh, again, like I said, just about a, uh, a difference maker. Yeah, that's for sure. Looks like they're uh, putting in some settings. They're setting things up. Yeah. GGA Shady coming in, too. Yeah, I know, right? Got Shady. Chris Plackey is in this bracket as well. Chris Plackey is here. He's in the bracket as well, and it's like, you know, definitely a definitely a uh, long time coming for uh, the former Gamer of the Year to come on back and play on the show just for kicks. He's he's definitely a Mortal Kombat person for yeah, sure. Oh yeah, his tattoo, his tattoos are awesome. He has great Mortal Kombat. Tattoos. World record holder for Mortal Kombat Four and, and WR for MK Four as well. On top of that, all right, I think they're getting started. Yeah, I think they're getting it started. All right, let's get on over there. Malik versus Koalas. Koalas. How will it all turn out? We were gonna, we are gonna see. This is definitely some full screen action, man. We gotta give them a big screen for this. Look at that. All right. Start some low, start some. So I think we got Malik using Lee May and Scorpion as Koalas. Yep. All right. We need to give him, I think we need to yeah, let him see a little more. For sure. We'll, we'll get that ad and get, give him a better view in just a moment. For sure. But yeah, no, uh, Lee May was mentioned in the interview a little earlier. Uh, it's one of my other favorite characters. I'm not good with Lee May, but you know, definitely a, uh, definitely a very, very great character. Hands down for sure. Oh! Look at the sparks. The, the yeah, the sparks. Desert land, the lantern, the sparks, purple sparks, all the colors. It's just so smooth. It's so smooth. Uh, Malik is backing up, backing up. Malik. Malik. Thank you. Malik is backing up, staying spaced away. Alright, there's the first one. Oh, Koalas, excuse me. I got re Sorry. <laughs> Koalas just got his first W. Okay, staying away. Backing it around. Staying space. Ever so silent. Look at just look at the sparks. The color is ridiculous. The graphics on this game, I I can't man. Yeah, the colors are so nice. Very smooth. This game got a little bit of finest talk in the past, but not many people were popular. That happens for all games. Everybody, everybody always, you know, thinking the bad about a game and then you know then they actually play it and then they take the words right back. That's what happens with all these games. Talk bad about it and then you know the next thing is just like good comes out of it. Thing right now is Lee May about to get a hit. Oh, there you go. There you go. Wallace well, got it. Let's see it. Are we going to see a feat? Mm, no, not quite. But that is a win. That's a win. That's one. That is one point. One point to Koalas. One point to Koalas. Look at that. All right. And on to round two. Same characters. No change. No change of characters either. So it's just right into the next act. There's that a rule. Anyway. Oh, I know who that is. Hello, darling. I see you in there. Anyway. Friendly uppercut from... Uh-oh. Combos exchanged from both participants. Anyway, keeping up with those combinations, liver so slightly. Oh. oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're keeping those conversations really good. Look at that. Scorpion's moves are just... God damn. So good. So good. These cameos, we're going to be seeing a lot of that tonight. 
When I played this game in the past, I actually wasn't that good with the cameos. I was actually very bad. I didn't actually acknowledge their purpose in the past. What are we going to see from you, Brandon? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's been about a hot minute since the tournament at uh, the GTA, like I mentioned in the interview, in the pre-show. Oh, man, Scorpion. Malik. Mix up right there. Uh, what we'll see from me? I don't know. I don't know. I know, again, you'll see me playing as Melina Katana, that's for sure. What cameo am I going to use? I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, looks like there was an issue already. I <laughs> kind of figured. No, that's okay. That's where, uh... Well, I did mention it. I was like, it's 50-50. Shady comes into play. Yeah. Just gonna get on in there and take a look in a book. But, yeah. Anyways, how you been? About how, anyways, King, how, how have you been? I've been, again, I've been decent, you know. Again, like I said, it's just been a weekend. It's yes, been a it weekend. has been. It's definitely been a weekend. Uh, with it being a holiday weekend, there's a lot of things that are going on at once, so, you know... Uh, definitely, definitely gonna be a, uh, a red hot time. I think so. Hopefully we can get through the whole bracket and, you know. Oh, we will. And one piece, Shady's gonna be working on that. Yeah. I think there was, like, a, a, a switch problem. There was a switch problem? Is that, is that a new? Like, it's, 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 it's a common thing for an arcade cabinet. Well, I mean, this is the thing about these cabinets is that, you know, eventually that's why they have to come off the floor so people can do repairs and make sure they're maintainable, all that stuff. That's what they're supposed to do. And they right. do that really well. So it's good that we got Shady on the case and, you know. So, will they have to redo their match? No, no. They're, they, um... Well, they think they yeah, started. They, yeah, so they, they started with round one and then, um... I, yeah, I think that they should go again. Oh. Or, yeah, just to play safe. Yeah. Definitely a. Uh... <laughs> oh man! Well, you guys gotta love that. Oh. Like I said, friends, it's always a good time around here. <laughs> always a good show. As you all know, not every tournament is always perfect, but you know. You only you only live once. You only live once. I do want to give a quick shout out to. Uh, but no, how yo, know, Stephen Lucas, how do you feel about this tournament today? I hmm, let me get in the in the shot here. Uh, I don't know. So I've talked to my first round opponent. It's a newcomer. Oh, what did I say about newcomers before? Oh and boy! Every time they uh, run all the way to the end of the tournament, and somehow I get up, paired up against them. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a struggle. Yeah, it sounds like a struggle. Very big struggle. Like something like a machine over there. Well, you've been practicing, right? A little bit. A little bit. Staying over here because we're in the shot, you see? There you go. So. What we got here? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, today, our prizes for top three contenders will be giving action figures of Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn. That's for today. And then and then we also have Mortal Kombat 11 Nightwolf. You've heard of Nightwolf before, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. They're from MK11. And then we got Scorpion. That's a real. That's a that's a nice that's a nice action figure. What do you think, Steven? Good. Do you think you'll win one of them tonight? Uh, probably not. I have full I have full faith in you. I mean, who's? Let I mean pull up the bracket. I want to see who who am I in. I I know who my first opponent is. 
Well, I kind of want to see who else is in this thing. There's still one thing. A little bit of technical difficulty here. Like on the side of the cabinet. Here while you're working. So yeah, Free your it. hands up. Do my what? Free your hands up. Because you need two hands instead of one holding the microphone. Anyway. Trying to get things adjusted here. That's the fun of producing uh, live YouTube strings. All right. I think we're going to restart our match. Just on the side. Well, just put it over here for now. So you can just... Back there? Yeah. Send it out, dude. All right, let's get out there. Ready? They're coming. Okay. So due to the the switch issue, they're restarting a match. All right, I'm back. Uh, anyway, so they have reset. Yep. They just, well, they remember, so Koala's got his first round, so it still counts. Now this is just the redo. And shout out to Katie for, you know, rocking and rolling. And then there's like, the so Koalas has one point. Yes, Koalas has one point. Yep. And then... Anyway, yeah. So he's got one point and nothing else yet at this moment. The, they're That's feeling each other out. Uh-oh. The sparks. They're flying in. Malik Fatal trying to. Attack. I don't know. Well, uh, maybe. Oh, oh Lene. Right? Yeah. This machine is uh, going to be heavily, heavily moderated tonight. So with Koalas now just using Lee made a back of the corner. Nope, but there's that grab the throw. It's beautiful. And backing him away, backing up space. Hanging on for dear life. Facing apart, keeping it so soon. Keeping it in the space, stuff. And Lee made with the W. I think Lee made is... That's it. Claws moving on. Moving on. Claws moving on just like that. Koalas won that? Oh. Okay. That's fine. Claws won. Okay, okay. So it's one right now. Okay, I see, I see. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, so is this whatever... Yep. Whatever goes, goes for this one? Yep. Is it whatever goes, goes? Yes, right now. Okay, okay, cool. So I want to make sure there was enough to keep that. Anyway. Hanging out. Ooh, nice. Very smooth five hits. Airing it all over the place. Very smooth five hits. Back it up. Reason. Fatal blow in tow. And oh, almost there. I need one more hit. There it is. One. That's one. Oh, they need one more, and I think this will be it. Scorpion trying to come back. Got the spear. Oh, he breaks the combo. Even a smooth.
scorpion. Uh oh, try to do the spear again. Measuring out flawless block. Using Serena. So with that said, hey, that's a stand away, punching left, right, left, right. And now with the punch. Get on. See ya. That's the fatal blow territory. Very smooth. And Koala's got it. We get fatality in. Oh, oh, wait. Here we go. Gets it. There it is. Love to see it. There you go. That was for Kowalas. Moving on. Well done. That's it. I think that's officially it now, right? That is officially it. All right. All right. Kowalas moving on. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kowalas is stepping back up. He has to stay up there for... Oh. Koalas versus GGA Shady. Shady's going to be a uh, primary target number one in this show. Uh oh. One primary one half of a target. <laughs> but Shady, of course, representing at the good old Ignite Gaming, of course. How do you think Shady's going to do? He oh, there should be no question. He should do very good. Not even going to sugarcoat that one. <laughs> Not even gonna sugarcoat that one. Just, just, he's just playing for fun. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what you think. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Good. Some friends looking at our bracket here. Hang on. All right. Shady is selecting. Josh is typing as fast as he can. I see Lee May, and I think it's the first time we've seen... We've uh, seen a... Uh, Peacemaker. Peacemaker, It's the yep. first time we've seen Peacemaker. I think uh, Kowalnas has Peacemaker. Shady has Lee May. And here we go. No, Shady. All right, I'm very sorry. Shady is Peacemaker. Lee May is Kowalnas. Right. There we go. We had to get that a little bit so. I can hear his music in my head. <laughs> That's all I can hear. All I'm hearing is the theme song. That's all I can hear when I'm seeing that. Easy, just like that. Shady gets it. Herb. Firing away with that gun. There you go. That is firing away with that gun. Stand back. Standing back, holding strong. Trying to find an opening in there somewhere. Shady has not yet. I'm pretty back. sure. I'm pretty sure he's been Shady's been practicing for this one. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Com combo breaker use. Using uh Strider Stri Striker. Yeah, just like that. You get fatality? Nope. Oh, not quite. But that's one for Shady. That is one for Shady. Would you expect that? Uh, I, I expect it as much. But not bad. Uh, excellent performance from Shady. That's one for Shady. One for Shady. Here we go. Round two. And here he goes. In the meantime, we Shady again, firing away. Breaker. Breaking it away. And Striker. Shady having a very unique combo with Striker. Oh. Peacemaker. It's a very unique combo. 
pacemaker like gets it done. Back room, not a not a scratch on Shady. Not a scratch on Shady. Oh, a cameo, fit and fatality. Out, cuffed up, no, not, not cuffed up. And boom, kaboom, Shady go. moving on. Shady moves on, just like that, didn't even blink. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even blink. It's, blinked and you, it's like a blink and you miss it. I think Shady only had like two or three hits on him. Next up on the list, <laughs> we've got Steven Lucas All versus right. Andy Ordonez. Podcast owner, best of seven. What else can you ask for? From Stephen Lucas. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> best of seven and podcast owner. Anyways, Shady, oh no, Shady's moving on. Now we got Stanvi, Stephen, and Andy on board. We're currently on a little look for Andy right now, folks. Give me one second. One second. Hopefully, as all you guys are waiting, so wait for Andy. Oh, there he comes. Here comes Andy. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. Now, with that said... So we got, uh, I see a Lee May on the side of Steven Lucas, I believe, and uh, Andy taking, uh, I can't see it, it's so small. Sub-Zero? No, 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 no. That's the cameo. Sub Serena. Sub-Zero and Serena. Serena? The cameos, I'm trying to see who's uh, Andy's character. Can't read that font. It's very small. Kenshi. Kenshi, thank you. The font was very, very small, <laughs> so I couldn't see it. And all right, oh, got enough. We've seen two. We've already seen one Lee May match. We, we get, now there's more. All right, here we go. And she, I'm doing it away. Going to work. Cutting away just like that. Free kick. They're slicing it up. Oh, I think that was a fatal blow from uh, Andy. Wow, look at that. Or no, that's a fatal blow from Steven Lucas, I believe. Oh, that's vicious. That. Break down and snapping his neck. Uh oh. He got yeah, caught. Caught with a fatal blow. That's gonna do it. And the slice right on through. Woo. Wow. Andy. Andy just like that. With round one. Round one for Andy. Get answered answer round two. Spacing it. If he lands into the fire uh, that you ju you, that you guys just saw, that loses your uh, what's it called? It makes you drop a. Uh, I can't remember too. You know what? Early May, right? Yeah. It's like a amplifier. amplifier. There you go. You got it. Uh oh. Freezing air. Freezing midair. So we're not trying to go to work. Steven needs one last hit. Could he get it? And he does. There it is. Round Tied three, in. we go. Tied up. Tied up on this round. All right. We'll see how uh, even it's going to be. And it's 
in. Belly uppercut taken. Steven hanging on for dear life though. Hanging on for dear life. Oh, there's another uppercut. Cameo trying to get in. Oh, look at that. Steven landed some hits. He, he's not playing around. He's landing some hits. All of them kind of he's oh, there he oh. Look at that. Look at that. Now, is he going to get the fatality? No, not quite. <laughs> Steven! Uh, not quite, but he's got it. That's a win for Point. Steven. A win for Steven. All right, we are tied up, folks. Oh, we are tied up. And yeah, Steven already, this is for uh, point number three. This Steven, determines uh, who will move on from Steven, round uh, number two. Catching up ground. All right. It's tied up. Steven landing that one kick. Vicious combo from Steven. There we go. Ooh, with the vicious sword slashes from Ken G. Connecting with every hit he got. Every hit Get on the got. uppercut from Ken G. Using the spirit. Ooh! Trying to do a fair blow. Oh, he missed it! Yeah, that's gonna, that that's round good. one from Andy. That was a fatal error right there, unfortunately. Fatal error. Oh, <laughs> that's a double counter space work. Man, he had fatal error. He was just too far away on that fatal blow. Way too far away. Oh, less than an inch. <laughs> backing up. Backing away. Backing him again. Ooh. Steven Lucas yeah, trying Steven to come Lucas, back. Look at that. He's just like, look at that. I like the strategy from Steven. Oh, but you better watch out for that fatal blow. Oh, he missed. Just barely got in there. Now he's backing up. Oh, look at that. Steven Lucas playing some really good Lee May, though. And he's trying to come back, though. Uh-oh. He's able to get the fair blow. Could he get this? Oh, he missed. He missed again. Oh, you guys, he's got one more chance, though. Got one more chance. Oh, and back up again. Oh, oh and that. Steven. Steven Lucas coming back again. Surviving. Survives again. Happy St. Patrick's to you, Cogwolf. Welcome on in. Surviving with all of his might. Right again. Oh, that's a miss at each other. They miss at each other. I love to see that. <laughs> Steven has a lot of health. Oh, well, he had a lot of health, I should say. Now it's shrinking right on down. Spark dash all around. Uh-oh. And Steven with that combo. The spark combo. Oh, oh and he freezes midair. Deadly uppercut from Andy. And he needs one more hit. Steven is not going to let that slide. We're following up with a fatal blow, oh. and he gets it! Wow, that's, and that's gonna do it. Wow! That's definitely gonna do it. It is Steven all Lucas over. Is gonna... Steven! Moving on! That's definitely gonna do it. Wow. Wow. Impressive. Is he gonna do a fatality? Is he gonna do a fatality? Is he gonna get a fatality? I don't think so. Nah. Oh, no. Steven! Not moving on! Just like that. That's crazy stuff. Don't now. mess with the man who's got a podcast. Don't mess with the man who has the Going for the six pack, too. <laughs> wow, love that. All right. Next up on the list, Diaz. Oh, nope. Oh, Hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. And fought, uh, fought for his life out there. Oh, that's shocking. You fought for your life out there. Yeah, I'm. The heart's pumping. So DSP is going to get that win. I do see it. <laughs> so DSP is going to get that win. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. He's going to get the win. So now we're going to move on to, yes. uh-oh, a father versus son match. Again? Aiden versus Damien. I think you're just doing this on purpose. Oh, I sure am. Hey, they're, they're here. They're coming. I think you're just doing that on purpose. No. Yeah, Are you okay. you sure? Well, I don't know. I think you're just setting that up on purpose. I don't know. The bracket's not random generated. Just as a heads up. 
So I'm pretty I sure don't, I, I don't know. Oh. oh, what's up? Yeah, go ahead. Milan Magulish. There you go. Love to see that. Wait, hang on, hang on. Well, I Let's We're go. Defense. Father, son, and Kurt. Words right from the Cordova family. Oh, of course. I said it before I say it again. Cordova family is always impressive to watch in these tournaments and Bloody Wars. Probably my favorite ever. My all-time favorite. My all-time favorite. Hands down. And DSP, of course, uh, just getting an automatic. <laughs> It's that luck of the Irish playing for date for uh, DSP, getting an automatic, just moving on on. Yeah, he did. The DSP just moves on automatically. <laughs> the luck of the Irish on his side. Now. All right. I see Baraka on the side of Aiden. Yes. I see. Uh, what do I see? Baraka on the side of Aiden. Damien with. Uh, Kun Lao. Kun Lao. First Kun Lao we've seen. So we've seen multiple Lee May, we've seen two Lee May matches already. This is our first Baraka match. So Baraka has this one specific combo. What was it like? He has this one specific combo. I know you know what this is, Josh. You do it on me all the time. I do. It's the most criminating combo ever. Hey, hey, it works. It's a good combo though, it's just criminating. If it works, it works. It does, it does. It does work. It's a, it's actually a very good combo. All right. The smug look on Kun Lao's face. Love it. The cutscenes for this game are hilarious. The dinner, the dinner cutscene is my favorite in this game. They are hilarious. When they're, all, when they're all having dinner, and then Johnny Cage tries to flirt with Katana. It's the best, best cutscene in the game in story mode. Anyway, so here let's see how uh, these two shape up already. Aiden comboing away. Aiden, a shining star. A growing shining star in this tournament. Definitely, definitely. Growing shining star as you see him doing it right now. Oh my god. Already taken out Damien in a minute. Wow. Within a minute. Within minutes. I'm telling you, he's been impressive throughout the entire da da tournament. Damien has definitely fought him well. Hands down. Damien has fought him well as a hater shack. Joining us from pre-show to now, welcome back in. Safe, look at that. Facing it. Oh, that was interesting. Didn't get a hit right there. Just dodged all of it. Dodged all of it. Yes, Here's he way. did. Let's see if we see that combo. Let's see the combo I know that you and I are talking about. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's part of it. It's part of it. I think I killed Aiden with that combo at one point. You did. I didn't give it right back. Facing away. Made a blow in territory of Damien. Will he use it? Nope, nope, nope. Uh oh. Oh, man. Oh, no. Just like that. He's going to fatality. Aiden. No, not quite. That's one for Aiden. One for Aiden. Wow. Like I'm telling you, man. The Cordovas, they've been practicing. Any time. They're not wasting any time. None. Oh, I think there's going to be a change of character. Oh. It's allowed, I'm sure, right? They're going to Yeah, them. absolutely. Thank goodness. We don't want them fighting forever with the same characters. I see Liu Kang. I see Liu Kang. And... Uh... Luke Kane, I think Barack, I think Aiden's gonna stick with Baraka. I do see definitely Baraka sticking. Now is Damien, what's Damien gonna do? Random select? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, oh, he's there figuring we go. out something. He's Scorpion. Got it. There he is. Notice Let's how they're using that Serena cameo. Oh, you know. <laughs> He's not wrong about that. Take it from somebody who knows about the game. Random select Shang in Shang Tsung's laboratory. That's true. Anyway, still Baraka. I see Scorpion. Let's see what they come up with. 
And I think Aiden has the point already, so we're gonna see how this turns out. We're gonna see. Right. The way they go. Alright, let's see. Basically, there's score one combo. Let's score block. Oh, Damon got him. Block all of it. Deadly uppercut from Baraka. Oh! The shards. Oh, he tried doing the combo from that. Oh, just like this. Oh. He needs that last hit. Can he get it? And he does. Block. This gave it right back. Right on back to him. Not holding back at all. Round two, though. None of them exchanging uh, range blows. There's none of them exchanging range blows back to back. Right. I'd love to see that. This thing space away. My God, Aiden with not one hit. Oh, now he's got a hit. Like he has not one hit yet, and now he's got one. Not too much good. And Damien in fatal blow territory. Is he gonna use his fatal blow? Even the fight just a little bit. Let's see. He dev, 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 Damien needs to oh, use something to survive. Oh, oh. Wow, he missed. Aiden Completely blocked it. Missed. Deflecting uh, the fatal blow. Oh, oh, brutality! There's our first brutality of the, of the whole show. Aiden, Aiden moving on. on. Like that. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, brutality. All Killing his own father. That's, that's kind of brutal. Think, no. It's a family show. It is um, a family show. <laughs> Next up. Norbert Vale versus Ed Polenik. Ed Cage Polenik and Norbert. It's going to be Ed Cage Polenik and the Norbert. The undisputed Bloody Wars champion. I just saw him in the back, but on the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, make sure his bodyguard checks him into the machine. Father and, and, and Damien and Aiden hugging it out. As they should. And now, here comes Nor <laughs> Ed Cage Polenik. That's what we call them, Ed Cage Polenik and Norbert Vail. <laughs> oh. Is it really? Is it really? Wow. Did not know that. that. Norbert uh, acknowledging this was a rematch from last year's double bracket. So I think it's like uh, going back in time a little bit. Yeah, if, if you will. Just a bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Norbert player one. Ed player two. Let's look. All right, let's see who we got now for Norbert and Ed Cage Polenic. I'm pretty sure we're going to see. I, I hope we see it. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Yep, there it is. I knew it was. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's fairly obvious. I mean, if it wasn't selected, I would have been very shocked. Oh, Sindel! I know uh, Crimey Would doesn't like the design of Sindel. My daughter? Yes. She was not too but much of a huge fan of it. I mean, you know, what can you do, though? Timelines. But anyway, it's the first time we're seeing Sindel. Johnny Cage's, Cage's intro is everything. <laughs> Cage's, Cage's intro is everything. It's just perfect. All right, well, anyway, off we go. Ed with Johnny Cage. And Norbert with Sindel, surprisingly, though. Very, very interesting. They have been practicing this game. They have this game at home. So. Yeah, yeah, the game is available at home for anybody who likes to have it at home. Cogwolf acknowledging Aiden on that slide. So, what's up for that? Gotta love that. Anyway, but well Norbert already with half health gone, he's got Fatal Blow in direction. Space kick, oh man. Norbert and Ed, and Ed already, uh, that's it. yeah, talk on that phone, get that text message. Here comes round two. And again, losing those kicks. Those kicks get in. Ooh. Like that, cameos, can't forget those. Kano 
Been using put and putting Kano to good use. Anyway, um. Anyway, so Ed almost getting Norbert just barely inches. Uh oh. Deadly up a cup from Sindel. Uh oh. Air trip. Air trip again. There Ooh, we go. Sindel. Sindel coming back. And a hair flip. Final round. We'll walk away with their first point. Who will walk away with the first point? Matches have been mid even. And we'll advance to round number three. Oh! The matches. Wow. Air a hit. Combo. Yeah, a hit. The punish. Is it leg split? Uh oh, the same man. Split. Back it up, though. You can tell Norbert's been practicing with this character. You can see it. There's the combo. We've never seen that from Sindel before. I haven't actually seen, uh, I've seen many people play this game, and I haven't seen many people Time play as Sindel. Time can use the fatal blow. He's going to use it. Could have connected uh -oh. it? No, he doesn't. Nope, nope. Nobody home. Nobody home. Norbert. Norbert with his first W. With the first point. See a fatality here? No, not quite. <laughs> so first win for Sindel. Sindel. Sindel Norbert. Get first win W. And had a match of his own though, so you know, never never sleep on Ed Cage Polenic. No change in the next match. You see this guy? Oh, I didn't play the well that's fine. I was gonna say I know we we're gonna see that intro again. But you know, man, we gotta we gotta speed it up. We gotta speed it up. Anyway, let's face him. Uh-oh. Combo. Uh-oh. Is it? I got it again. Get it? Nope. Nobody home. Norbert with this first round win. Oh, the ice chased away. Oh my god. Disabling Kano. Norbert oh, preventing that. Preventing Ed so from winning. Preventing. Yeah, he's a. Uh, making sure he means business. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh, a hit combo a -hit again. Combo. Oh. Over the, oh, that's right, do it. That's gonna Deli do it. Deli up a couple more. Oh my goodness. Norbert. Moving on. Nope. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> and What's with up Sindel? with Norbert? Yeah, he used Sindel. With Sindel. That's insane. Love to see that. Love so Norbert, that. moving on. And now he's got, uh oh, our very own Brandon versus Jose. Yeah, we're already here now. Yep, we are here. What do you want, Jose? I'm ready. Yeah, well, I'm not. Let's get on I'm up there. I'm not. Get up there, Brandon. I think Norbert also wants to take my spot, so let him get up here. Let Norbert get my spot. Sure thing. All right. Ah, no. What's up, though? Hold this, Steven. No, let Steven take over. What's up, Steven? We'll go next. We can go after this one. So, Brandon versus Jose, my... Uh, guest this week on yes. the Crime K podcast. Uh-huh. But looking down the bracket, you know what's possible? What is that? Remember the uh, big um, promotion you did um, a couple of Bloody Wars ago? In fact, MK4? Yeah. I remember, Steven. We have a possibility. We might have that match you were trying to have. At the MK4 tournament. I might. We might have that. The only thing. Who's. Norbert's gonna face the winner of this match. And. Yes, he will. Let's okay. see. Molina. He can pick Molina. Jose picks Baraka and Baraka. Oh, Baraka. Jose takes it. wins a match. Wins the round. And 
now, King Cam. Firing at all cylinders here. Yes, he is. So looking down the bracket, just lucky. With a see a former Blade Wars champion to come as things are being evened up in this round. Yes, Raka using Kano to hack and slash Molina. Nothing from Molina yet. Uh oh, fatal blow Count. chance. Here we go. He's gonna he get it. He it. got it. It's gonna be he all she wrote it. for this this round. Ugh. Slashing up oh, his girlfriend. Okay. And Braca gonna rip the body apart. Sick. Fatality used by Jose. That's one for Jose. Jose was playing Baraka. Brandon Brandon's making an excuse that uh, a kid was distracting him. A kid was a kid just ran behind the cabinet. Yeah, somebody did that during my match. I, I say I say it's an excuse from Brandon. Well, don't yeah, count, don't Jose. count King Cam out, although he's behind already. Yes, he is. He is very much behind. The very last play Wars tournament that he knocked out the defending champion. All right. Gonna go solo here as Jose. Oh, Molina. Ah, oh, Brandon could not do the fatal blow. And now... King Cam goes down in the first round. Oh! King Cam has got to win this two out of three, or get win this uh, match to keep Brandon going. Use the cameo again. He's on the brink. Serious. He is on the brink. There's an uppercut. Slash, slash, slash. Baraka and Kano stabs Molina. Uh oh, Brandon catching Jose with an uppercut. Oh, using that cameo as well. There he is. Fatal blow gonna get Fatal blow. And, again. and that's gonna be all she wrote. Jose. Gonna be moving on as King Cam has thrown his hat in disgust. <laughs> Jose is gonna rip moving on. Molina apart again. Thanks, Stephen, for being here. What, what just happened, Brandon? You were supposed to win that. Anyway, we're moving on. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened. Next up, we've got I played on player one. That's Augustine what happened. versus Chris Platt. Anyway. Anyway. Hang on. I actually have a phone call. Hold on. All right. We're seeing Augustine and Chris Plackey up next. Let's get into studio mode. All right, former Galvin Goes Gamer of the Year, Chris Plackey versus Augustine, the member of Dan Kane. 
Yeah, there you go, Damien. What's up, Damien? I'm good. How are you? Aiden moving on. That's all that matters, man. Now we are witnessing Chris Blackie versus Augustine. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Well, how do you think it's gonna go? And it sounded like it paid in your favor, right? <laughs> nice. Nice. My father's in the stream chat. What's up, Dad? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, Chris Blackie! Finishing off Augustine with round ma with first match of the matchup. That's one point for Chris. Now, no change of character so far. Scorpion and Jackson. And Cage and Frost. Oh, mid air combo. Oh my. 18 hit combo from Chris Blackie. August is trying to, he's trying to come back though. Yes, he did. He ain't messing around today. <laughs> Using Jax to his best with that combo. <laughs> right. It's a better advantage for a nice combo for sure. Oh. And, and I think that's 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 fair. That's fair the for the for the Mortal Kombat scene for sure. He's that mid air combo once again. Catches Jack, Jack catches Johnny Cage. Augustine trying to survive as your number one contender. Deadly uppercut hit. Chris Blackie, moving on. Wow. Oh, they wouldn't even get to see the fatality. Oh, kick the soul out of it. Oh, man, you got to love it. Thank you, Damon, for being here. Wish you the best of luck. All right, Chris Plackey moving on, and now we've got Israel. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Um. Israel Behina versus Michelle Vale. Israel versus Michelle. Yeah, that's true. How do you feel about this tournament, Shady? Right. Tournament's, uh, it's got a good turnout. A lot of people are here. They're excited. They're ready to play. Exactly. I like the, I like the competition. How do you feel about it? About the competition? You're, no. Uh, do you, like, how do you feel? How, how confident are you in the tournament? I mean, do you want me to be honest? I think, uh, I think the only person that has a chance is Chris Blackie. 
I already knew he was really good. Seeing him on the on the sticks, yeah, he's looking like he's on controller. So exactly, he's looking really good today. But other than that, I'm not worried. For sure, I wish you the best of luck. And now I think they're moving it, moving on. They got Lume and oh, Reki. We've never seen that before. So Michelle's using Lay May. Crazy. All right. <laughs> so I apologize for that from Brandon. Um, I guess stuff coming up at the last minute and, you know, stuff happens. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got, uh, we'll make. DSP stepping up to the guest, special guest commentating. That's right. What's going on, JP? How are we doing here? Nothing now? much, man. We're Israel Bahina, you've former been Bloody Wars with, champion. You've been practicing with Israel for a while now. Yeah, we have been. We've been uh, feeling feeling each other out, going head to head in a lot of games. To be quite honest with you, that's awesome, man. He's a good player. Who who came out the victor when you practiced with him? You know. Um, it just really depends on the game, to be quite honest with you. In Mortal Kombat, he has the edge. And in Street Fighter, um, I probably do. So we go back and forth, you know. I, I can't sure. handle him in Mortal Kombat, I'll admit that. But there's other games. Actually, I, I took him out in the seven-game challenge. I don't know really? if you heard that. We, no, had a, we had a tournament, and I went head-to-head -head with him. And we had uh, each bracket was seven games. Sure. So I think we had... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom was in there. Samurai Showdown. Uh, we kept getting this, like, monkey wrench in the game. It was uh, Karnov's Revenge. You ever played that one? Yeah, I have a little bit. It's not my favorite game, let's just say. It's, and that was chosen? It kept getting picked all oh, night. It man. was like the monkey's paw, man. Everybody, everybody kind of, like, fell into that trap. But then, you know... But he doesn't really like the sports games, and so we had a couple. We had a couple like games in there that. Uh oh, here we go. Finished them. Israel. Finished Israel with Michelle. the win. The very first match. R Rico. Israel likes to play Rico. I know that. Yes, he does. So yeah, so a member, a member from Bloody Wars did not make it here. So you have, uh, you pretty much have a victory through. Is that how? Default. Is that how it happened? I got yeah. the luck of the Irish on me today. I told you, <laughs> feeling a little lucky, feeling a little lucky. So we'll see how it goes. Some good players here, that's for, for sure. sure. No, absolutely. We've seen, we've seen a couple of beatdowns handed out already. It's only going to get harder from here. Yeah. Oh, there so, uh oh. There's a throw from Michelle. Got another grab there. Kind of feeling feeling each other out. No. A lot of back and forth right now. Michelle with the throw again. She's got the yeah, it is on. back and forth. Israel with the counter. Israel got to play it safe. Fatal blow might be in use. Oh, but Boxes. Michelle misses it. 
That's a cameo there. Oh, with the grab. That grab's deadly. She's got him against the ropes now in the corner. Did you keep him there? Just keep it locked down. Rico's still holding on. There she goes. That might be There's it, folks. Combo. Israel trying to survive. Uh-oh. Israel needs one last hit. He gets it. Oh, he wins. Wins the first round. This is match point here. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see uh, him playing Rico here. Right. He's got a couple other characters up his sleeve. Uh, so. Oh, with that. Ground and pound. Uppercut. Overhead. I, I love the stages in this game. Like the background. It's so. I, I love it too. Special. They, they definitely did an amazing job this time. A little bit of an upgrade. All three Vanilla. of the games that came out, like yeah. the, the backgrounds, like the Tekken 8, some of the backgrounds. You see the one with Times Square, playing Times Square? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that level is beautiful. Uh, Street Fighter 6, that, that Paris stage under the Eiffel Tower, I mean, come on. You gotta love it. Yeah, he's come, he's come a long way since 92, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Israel picking him up. He's got her wrestling, on the ropes. wrestling Michelle at this point. Grounding. Oh, another wrestling kick. The, the ground and pound again. Israel might need one last hit to move on. Could he get that? Oh, oh, and he does. He gets it. Israel moving on. Former Bloody Wars champion. Stepping up. We're going through the, the winners now. So Israel moving on. Next up, we've got GGA Shady versus Steven Lucas. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Steven's going to have his hands full on this round. Oh, yes, he will. Pressure's on. Oh, no. Well, he's got to go through the through the books. He's got to go through it, whatever it takes to get the six pack championship. He Steven wants the belt. He's got to do whatever it takes. He's going with the against the peacemaker. Shady's been using peacemaker lately. Man, that character is just ridiculous. I know. Peacemaker's from uh, Suicide Squad, right? Yeah, I think so. It's like the Superman, the anti-Superman. Did right? you see the? Did you see the movie? Um, I didn't see the the latest one. No, that was pretty good. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh oh. John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. He's using the sonic boom to his advantage. My kid loves John Cena, man. He's all about it. Combo breaker used. Are we, uh... Oh, he got Ooh. Shady. Doing this like if it's nothing. Uh oh, he's holding it down like yeah, it's it nothing. That's about all you can do. That onslaught he's getting. Woo. He's brutal. He's brutal, man. What he's can you do? No, what yeah, what do? can you do? Oh, Steven Lucas trying to come back. With a nice grab from the cameo. Eagle sweep. Oh, and he shoots him. With to win gun. the first match. There he goes, look at that. There he goes. Disco party. Woo! Woo! I know you're having a blast with that. <laughs> Steven avoiding the eagle. Eagle. 
the headbutt. Oh, the headbutt again. Now the gas. The eagle. Oh, that's cool. Sonic boom. Steven's trying to together. think of something. He's gotta put something together. Think he's trying to rethink his strategy. He's gotta find a hole, man. It's not much. It's not giving him much. The pressure is on. It's just like constant pressure. Ooh. Oh, shit, he's missing that combo. Using the Sonic boom. Oh, fatal blow. Can he put it to good use? Missed it. Missed it. No. What's he gonna do? He gets it. He got it just on time. The hammer ram. Oh, that's, that's, that's just not even fair. <laughs> Should we just put Steven and the losers? <laughs> I mean, what can you do? This is, you know, this guy, Shady is uh, a He's beast. good. He's really good. <laughs> Much. Doesn't give you much to work with. There he goes. There he goes. Steven found a little opening. Steven trying to find some room. Oh, breaks the combo. But doesn't matter. Shady gets it done. There he goes. Shady moving on. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The Strider fatality. Here? Oh no. Oh, able to it. walk walk off win <laughs> with the fatality. <laughs> Just a walk off. Shady moving on. I guess I'm up. Next up, yeah, you're up, DSP against up. Aiden Cordova. Where's Norbert? Or Damien? Go ahead. What's up, Damien? Damien's is back. Right, I'm back. He is back. So, your your son going back again. Yes. Yes. So this is this is his opportunity to do something good with the tournament. So let's see where where we're at. All right, DSP player one, and then Aiden player two. They're trying to select their characters now. Oh boy. I've I've seen Aiden play with Liu Kang. <laughs> uh oh. That's what we're gonna see? Uh oh. I think that's what we're gonna see. Just has to watch those lows and those overheads to be okay. Yeah, you can say that. Oh, DSB, he's not taking this lightly. He's been practicing yesterday. He invited me to uh, Andy's house, and we've been uh, playing Mortal Kombat 1 in his cabinet. But the layout was pretty different. So that yeah. can be a little disadvantage sometimes. But. It looks like it's working in his favor as DSB, oh, captures round one of the, t of the match so far. It looks like they're both using Serena as a cameo. A little charge up. DSB trying to charge up. It is not letting that happen though. Deadly no. uppercut from Aiden. In the mess, let that happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Putting Serena to good use. Oh, they both have Serena. That's cool. Yes. I, I, I know the Serena's a very popular one for sure. Yeah, she's got, she's got that range with those boomerangs, and it really helps you out, especially when you. You think that they're, they're, they're done and then they hit you from behind. Finish. Right. Ooh. Yeah, so 
Our first match goes to DSP. First one. Got my buttons a little mixed up. That's it's alright. Now we know DSP wins the first match. Looks like they're sticking with the same characters. No change at all. He's got he's got Aiden in the corner. Yeah, he's got to move out of that corner. There you go. Fight your way out. With a counter. Aiden with a counter attack. DSP trying to look for some room. Is he going to get there? Uh-oh. Aiden trying to come back, though. Changing his stance. DSP trying to change his stance. Made a blow. Can he put it in? And he got it. He gets it. He gets it. There you go, Aiden. There you go. Damage. Yeah. DSP getting the first round. It's okay. Aiden can still win. Aiden can still come back. Oh, using the punish. Serena. DSP was a throw. Funny, the first kick doesn't come out as, as uh, quickly as you would think. Right. No, oh, yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty insane how they they work the stuff with that play. It's, it's insane. Turn down the sun. Aiden is blasting away with light. Ooh! Closing the round with a deadly uppercut from Aiden Cordova. Final round. Deadly uppercut from Aiden again. Nice kick. He's actually paying attention. He's keeping an eye on those blows. DSP getting rid of his cameo. Oh! Aiden coming back! One one. Exactly, it's one and one. So it looks like they're sticking to the same ones again. Uppercut again. Exactly. I've, I don't, I don't think I played Luke Kane at all. So, Aiden, Aiden, uh oh. Exchanging some uppercuts. Aiden trying to come back and he does. Uh oh. Match point to Aiden. Uh oh. Got the uppercut from Aiden. Uh oh. Aiden. Aiden coming back with the deadly uppercut. Still come back. Only round number two. While well, the fatal, uh, fatal blow is going on, 
then uh, then that you see a little shield icon on the yeah uh, on the life bar. That'll that'll actually reduce the damage to the fatal blow. You know, I did not know that. Yeah, same same likewise when you're performing the fatal blow. If you mash the button, you uh you actually uh um add damage. You know, you could be we could we could be a host of any tournament and. We can learn something new every day. Yes. It's not bad at all. Don't be afraid to learn something new when you're putting out a game. Uh oh. It is trying to come back though. Oh! DSP blocked the cop the fatal blow. Watch the load. Oh! Uh. DSP! Moving on! I don't know what was, what was more fun, actually playing it or wa or, or watching this uh, <laughs> this match go on. <laughs> you guys are still in the tournament. At least you guys are still in the tournament. Yes, yes. That was a hell of a show. How do you feel? Um, uh, that was uh, very intense. Um, uh, yeah, I got to brush up on uh, you know my game. Uh, I, I was definitely it was definitely in for a treat. Awesome, Aiden. Wish you the best of luck, man. Good job, bud. Next up, we've got. More Prevail versus Jose Velasquez. Uh oh. A little bit of a rematch from uh, January 7th. Janu January 7th, uh, the second Bloody Wars tournament event ever. They went to the grand finals. Uh, the game was Samurai Showdown. And it was for the belt. And Norbert came out on top. And the rest is history. Let's see who are they gonna pick now. That's how you do it. So it looks like Norbert's got Sindel and uh, and Jose has Baraka. He's got Baraka. Oh, wow. A little bit of a mix-up from, uh, what's it called? Oh, no, not at all. So, Jose's been using Baraka almost the entire tournament, and then now Norbert's using Sindel. Definitely looks like a strategy. Definitely, those are the characters most likely practice before the tournament. Oh! We got Jose gets blow. it! Jose with a fatal blow. So it looks like he went just with the fatal blow. No, no mashing there. Unfortunately, the fatal blow was only enough to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> That means you gotta kill him, Jose. You gotta kill Sindel. What are you waiting for? Uh oh. Using those slashes with a throw. Right. Cameo throw from Kano. Just gotta keep that corner pressure up. But notice a lot uh, A lot of people are uh, uh, taking advantage of that and they're, uh, they're using that corner to keep the pressure up. Yeah. Another thing you get, uh, too, and that's which is good, is if you've got your opponent in the corner, you can actually add hits and kind of bounce them off, so... That's insane. Yeah, I, I've been seeing that in the tournament recently. That I can see that. Good to know. Where are oh, they? Yeah, we're doing a lot of homework. It, it, might, it might not have... Uh, I might have shown after that, uh, that epic uh, to beat to, uh, to Aiden, but uh, right. I have been studying and practicing and uh, taking, taking all that stuff into consideration. Exactly. Oh, Norbert. That's one for That's Norbert. One for Norbert. Uh oh, Jose's got to step it up. In order for him to advance, 
to round number four. Or no, round... Yeah, round four. There's a lot to keep track of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kano! Looks like he's stuck with the same character. Yes, they are. See if that works with uh, works for Jose's advantage or if uh, if we see a repeat from the last match. Day again with those vicious grabs. <laughs> Trying to attempt the deadly uppercut. Nothing there, and he does. Yes. He gets it that time. And another one. Got it. Uh oh. And he gets the slash. Jose getting round number one. Jose got one round in. He gets it. <laughs> All right, got Steven Lucas here. How you doing, Steven? Uh, Jose's got one round. Um, he's looking to make a comeback. If Norbert gets both of these rounds, then uh, he advances. Oh, and it looks like he, Jose missed the fatal blow. Round a piece. Fight. Just gotta win this this round in one match. And it's just uppercut after uppercut. <laughs> Got it with the cross up. Oh, and the cameo, please. Oh, we got a combo breaker. And it goes to Norbert. Norbert's gonna advance. Got uh, chairs here. I got something I want to say. Uh -oh. Norbert Bale. All right. Jose, uh, because I know I beat you and I'm sorry, I got you a consolation prize. A Tetris lanyard. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> He's always asking for for Tetris to come to the Bloody War tournament. Tetris. <laughs> yep, any kind of Tetris. <laughs> but at least you get Tetris in some way here. Thanks. This is just as what I wanted. <laughs> Anyways. Good match, guys. Good match. Anyways. When we now got Chris Black. Yes, you will. Chris Blackie versus Israel Bahina. Oh, wow. That's going to be interesting. We're stripping Israel. the belt from you, Norbert. <laughs> uh, there was a major Tetris tournament last night in Champaign. Was there? Jose was not there. Yeah. I'm surprised. That's surprising. <laughs> Why, why didn't you go there? Uh, I just came across on Twitch and didn't know about it. Oh, I see. I would have gone, maybe. <laughs> Someone actually going to a Tetris tournament? That's crazy. Oh, I've yeah, never... Good old classic Tetris set on Twitch. I've never heard of that before. Oh, there's a Twitch channel. I got followed. Okay. Good to know. Good to know, Steven. I mean, uh, I showed some of the footage right. when I had my interview with Paul Tessie. The match they had with the late Jonas. Right. Looks like we got Chris with Scorpion and Israel with Baraka. Uh-oh. That means with the first. If, if Chris wins, Blackie versus Fail. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Chris. Who's Chris? Chris is like Scorpion. Chris is hit, hitting those air combos there. Not giving Israel enough room to breathe. 
Oh, with the breaker. That that jacks uh, that that jacks ground pound is just that's such it's a nasty move destroying. There. What's that one character that does the ground and pound? Where he like takes them down and there's a ground and pound. Who does that? Um, that uh, is Raikai. Uh, MK1. Raikai. What's his name? Ground and pound, like a wrestling takedown and then oh, ground pound. Rako, yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's vicious too. That ground pound is pretty good. We might. Deadly uppercut from. Fire <laughs> six. That's a good one. Chris Blackie. Chris Blackie with the first yeah. round win. Uh oh. This is looking good. This is looking good. If this happens, Damon, if this happens, I'm going to do something on the stream that I've never done before. Okay. Just, just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, we'll be here. We'll you covering it. Uh oh. Oh, and it looks like Chris used the super armor. Deadly yes. uppercut from Chris. No, from Chris, Israel. Chris is just. Who is just mauling? Not a scratch. Chris just kind of, uh, you know, again, controlling that stage and. Not a scratch from Chris. Oh, what a ground, what a attack from Jack. Nice, nice mid-air combo. Deadly uppercut, counter attack from Israel. Get over here. Uh-oh, are we going to see it? Are we going to actually see it? It's almost time. It's almost time, and we and do! With the brutality. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see Placky versus Vale. Woo! Chris Placky, <laughs> moving on. I think Chris is going to rock me. <laughs> okay, who plays in who plays? I barely touched this game. <laughs> We're gonna see crap Blackie versus Vale. What you gonna do when Blackie and Vale when rolling on you? Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow! What? Blackie versus Vale t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Link in my bio. <laughs> Oh, I spelled it wrong again. You misspelled Placky, though. Oh, my God. But that was me. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What are the odds? Okay. Anyways, we're moving on. Losers round. We're moving on with the losers. Michelle Vale versus Malik. Wait, is Michelle up right now? You're way too hyped, Josh. Who wants to keep the rib shirt as a souvenir? <laughs> it's gonna be on auction. I'm gonna sign it. It's gonna be on an auction. Jose thinks you should switch to decaf. <laughs> <laughs> but the new color this time. <laughs> Woo! That felt good. That felt good. Uh, Michelle versus Malik. Yeah. Wow, that's gotta be the highlight reel. That's gotta be on the highlight reel for this sure. This gotta be like top <laughs> best moments in, blo in bloody wars. This has to be top ten. Hey, any editors in there? You gotta remix that. Oh, we have to for sure. All right.
Michelle, player two. All right. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Ladies and gents, Norbert Vale. What's up, Norbert? What's up, JP? How long have you been planning this? <laughs> For a while now. I was hoping we would see this. Well, you got your, well, you got your chance. And right now, it's Malik and Michelle. I think it's Malik. Malik. It's oh, my life. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So, are they starting right now? Yeah, they are. They're starting. All right. All right. So, how does it feel moving on to round number four? Well, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all I can really say. Brandon dodged the bullet once again, even though he had to leave. Yeah, he did. But the fact that I'm, I, you're, you're finally getting the matchup you want. Oh, yeah. It's here. It's finally here. Uh oh. Malik. Uh oh. Um, la one last hit. And he gets it. it. And then, uh oh, get over here! Punish from the light. Oh, Use the breaker. breaker. Like I know M Michelle has played this on and off. I got very little practice. Yeah, I saw your comment. Thanks for letting me know. Whatever. <laughs> oh, by the right sure calling Michelle again. <laughs> What are the odds? Anyway. Yeah, at least right now, Mich Michelle's doing a good job putting up a fight. He is. I think he's one of Shady's guys. I'm pretty sure. Who wants the ripped up shirt? It'll be it'll be on it'll be in an auction. Oh God. Hey, make it one of the bonus prizes. <laughs> <laughs> make it me signing it and everything. There you go. Make it a bonus prize. Malik. 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 I think that's already. Is that the first or is that the second? Is that was that the first? Oh, Malik. Okay. Malik. Yeah. We've been pronouncing it. We've been pronouncing it this wrong this whole time. time. So, so it's okay. We we both apologize. It's okay. It happens. So, Ma Malik. Malik. Okay. Malik. Malik getting the first point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle going with Shirai Ryu. Let's go. I mean, that's who I've been. That's who I've been going with. So, is this a strategy that you and uh, Michelle did while you guys were practicing using Sindel? Well, at the times, at the times I did practice at home with Michelle, I would use Sindel. Yeah. So she's mostly a, a lead player. Nice. But seeing that right now, she. Not 100% because she's always been used to playing on pad. She's not always used to playing on stick. She's a pad player. Oh, boy. But, oh, man. So who won that? Who won the practice round between you two? Um, majority me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's taking the two mini at once. Oh! Like, yeah, we have to cut from Michelle. Michelle, get out of that circle. Oh, that's okay. Malik just got her out of that game. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Michelle's on her last oh, hit. Oh, play. round one. She doesn't play this. Like, okay, Malik. I can't see. Like, Malik I guess compared it. to everyone else, she doesn't play this a whole lot. I play for a lot. Mally. I 
You come on, Norber. You gotta you gotta support your wife, son. Oh, I know. But it's just a reality check, I guess. I mean, like, like I said, she she gave me things for you know moral support, whatnot. She's like. You know, like, you're fighting for life. about prizes. How does this work? So, we got the we got the cash and prize on the table. We got top three contenders taking home with the Mortal Kombat action figures and then the championship belt. So, is it like first place gets the pick? The second place gets the pick? Or first place? Third place first? Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> You guys are taking home prizes anyways. Plus, the first place uh, contestant gets the belt too. So they got more of a prize than uh, third place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They don't even keep the belt. Oh, you lose it. So, so, so he moves, Ma he Malik, moves on. No, so Malik moves on. Nice. Mich and Michelle, Michelle gets completely. El Michelle is eliminated, unfortunately. And that it's is okay. okay. She's here for moral support, anyways. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go Next. Next up, we've got Augustine Adornis versus. Oh, Malik, you're back up. Yeah. Augustine, you're back. Augustine. Augustine. Augustine versus Malik. That was pretty crazy. I gotta, I gotta look back into that replay where I just rip it What's up. What's wrong? No, just rip up the shirt. Just me ripping it up. Yeah, I, I, yeah. GSP, uh, guy coming on this. You know, this is going to be exciting. Aug Augie's going to have to uh, really bring it to Malik and if he wants to stay in this tournament, right? So, here it goes. Augustine. I believe Michelle got a victory over Augustine last time around. Augie's, once Augie gets going, dude, look out. I think Augie's got a good shot. Run, dude. So it's Scorpion versus Johnny Cage. Augustine. Oh. Kick, knocked him down. Augustine, a little bit of pressure, though. Oh, wait, but no. Human form scorpion. And Johnny Cage. Oh! Takes the first round. Malik. First round. Malik. Malik. Fight. And the spear gun grabs Johnny Cage and he's kicking. Oh. Oh, he escaped. He skipped a hit. Ooh, what a vicious nine hit combo. Johnny Cage landing the juggle combination. Landing the Cyrix cameo from Augustine. These combos are hard to... Ah, uh, uh, got him with the web. And takes the first match. Oh. And Augustine. knocks him down with the oh, taunt. Man. Nice taunt from Augustine. So it's one to nothing, Augustine, and Malik has to win this match. Now he has to win. The hang on. Sliding oh. kick. Oh, giant case. Tried to, uh, there uh -oh. we go. Backward kick. Sliding. Super kick. There's an uppercut. Another sliding super kick. Scorpion with the spear gun. Juggling. Giant Doing cage in the air. Combo from, a, from the lake. They're even at this point. Oh. They're using their sec they're using their tag team partners to try to land something. Being blocked. Uh oh, both of them got Scorpion got a few kicks blow. in. Oh, there's that, there's that slaying kick. 
Oh, uppercut. uppercut. Just turning into a... Oh! Cage Johnny Cage wins the round. the round. Sire, uh oh. Alex in trouble here because he's got to come back to keep this thing going. Oh, there we go. There's spear the spear. gun. Juggling him in the air. Oh. Counter attack! Combo counter attack! Oh, using the Cyrus! Oh, he's taunting! Wait! Missed an opportunity! <laughs> Missed an opportunity to uh, do that uppercut in. Beginning of the end, right here. Oh! Serena fires a few shots. There's the There's slide a kick. Bit more. That's gonna be. Oh! <laughs> That's gonna be it! And Augustine! Moving on. And Cyrex going to uh, blow up the planet, including, well, giant. Boy, yeah. was just canceled. So yeah, August Giant Cage with a camera on. taking a picture of it when he's about to, uh, I guess, die. Right. Augustine, your winner. And now we've. Uh oh. So, yeah. Ed Polena gets a win too. By forfeit. By forfeit. And so I will be and facing him. Damien gets a win by forfeit as well. So now we got Andy versus Koalas. No, Kiwanis Cobb. And Wait a minute. So Devin Cordova had to leave? Yeah, he won by forfeit. So Andy and Kiwanis. Get a win. Wow, we had two uh, two forfeits. Yep. Good luck, Andy. They've been practicing. Last night they were they got together. Uh, the the Dan Cade guys they got together and they were battling it out last night. I was there. I was part of it. Thanks, thanks for the nice hospitality, Andy. Uh well, no, it was a good, it was a good run. Different, different. Uh, MK. Damon coming back. All right, I'm back. Howdy. Yeah, you got forced to win somehow. Kawanis. Oh, looks like they're battling it out already. I got to get to it. There you go. All right, Kiwanis player number one. Yes, sir. Not at all. Made a blow, put in use. Uh oh, using a spark. Daily uppercut from Ken C. Now the grab. Using Frost towards his advantage. Oh, air freeze. Oh! Trying to get the stage control there. Oh, Fatal can he get there? Oh, block it right on time. Ooh. And the brutality. Oh, my God. The ground and pound. Oh, my God. What a vicious one. 
Lynn you know, May. This is my first time seeing that brutality. <laughs> really? I think it's my second time. That's one for Kiwanis. Uh oh. Nice combo for. Uh oh. Mi he missed. He missed the Sub Zero cameo. Getting some room. Tell me about it. Lin May! Capturing that win. If we can rest up in that corner. Yes, sir. Now he's got the grab. Using the grab towards his advantage. Kiwanis! Oh, it breaks the combo. Surf. Oh my god. And she. Oh, missed a fatal blow. That's insane. Freezes him. Freezes can she. Yeah, did you notice that little delay in the box? Yeah. Oh, he's not done yet. Oh my god. Using that combo, following it up with a brutality. Kuanis, moving on. Wow. That was pretty insane. Uh, it's very rare to see that here. Now we've got losers round number three. We've got Aiden versus Augustine. Uh-oh, the battle of the Youngkins. Your son moving up. Yeah. He's stepping in. What's up? All right. I think uh, Aiden is player one. They're not wasting any time. They got no, the first not. pick. They're ready to go. Uh oh. All right, they're getting. They're on their way. Not wasting any little time. Aiden Baraka. And then we got Augustine with John and Kate. Oh, got to watch that tongue. Oh, is that Augustine? Yeah. He's yeah. Got he's got that one where he counters. Yeah. It's like, come on, I threatened you to hit you. That, that lets you know all about him right there. So Augustine got round one. Augustine with a grab. Half of the bar left from Aiden. In the block. Oh! Nice. Oh my god, Augustine. Tell the uppercut from Aiden. Fatal blow attempt, but didn't get it. Using his cameo. Uh oh, Aiden coming back. Uh oh, this could look good for both players. Ooh, disabling his cameo. Uh 
Titans on a counter, and he gets the. the mid combo. Trying to use his cameo and mix it up a bit. He's trying. Oh, wow, nice combo. Augustine with a flawless block. He's got to get out of that corner. Augustine's capable of using the... Oh, Fatal oh, Blow, but Aiden no! First match. First match goes to Aiden. Wow. And you can hear the mutual respect coming out of Aiden from the background. <laughs> I'm hearing it too. Good sportsmanship. All, all, all around. Those lows could be devastating. It, it could be the difference between the... Uh, Losing uh, about forty percent of your health. It is absolutely. I can. I can see that. Uh -oh. They're both uh, capable of getting a fatal blow. Aiden. Preventing that from happening. First round. Round two. Fight. Mixing up the projectiles. A lot of a lot of stuff being thrown around. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoever can hit hit the other with the cameo first. Bro. With the that's what it looks down. like. Uh oh. And it's so close. Can he get it? Oh, and it this fell. Oh, oh the brutality. Connects. Aiden moving, moving forward. Wow. Killing it. The whole thing with a brutality. Decapitated. Nice. Next up, folks, we've got Steven Lucas versus Ed Polenic. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose. Give it up for Jose. Hello. What's up, Jose? What's up, Josh? Th this is Jose speaking, and today we have a very interesting match. See Sorry about that, folks. We just... Oh, it just crashed. Hold on, give me a minute. Yeah, the the. <laughs> Anyways, Jose, how you doing? It's been very, been very good, Josh. It's nice. the weather's going pretty well, even though right, it's go murky outside. Yeah. So last time, could Stephen re, could Stephen regrain his crown again? <laughs> And against Ed. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, we're back. We are back. Live better than ever. Sorry about that, folks. You know, stuff happens, I guess. Yeah, a little technical difficulties around here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right. Steven versus Ed. Player one, Justice Steven. Player two, Ed. Who will, who will walk away in the loser's bracket? You know, it's kind of nice seeing uh, Ed dressing up as Johnny Cage. A perfect celebration for the character. Perfect celebration. All right, let's see. Ooh. Be careful with those buttons, Steven. <laughs> All right, Steven. Speaking of Steven, aren't you, uh, aren't you going to be uh, Steven's next special guest? For his podcast, definitely, and I, and I just want to be, and I have something to be brutally honest about everybody around here. To get the game. Oh, brutally honest. Well, yeah. I guess we'll hear it on Thursday. Yeah. Oh, it seems like Steven. Ooh. 
Nope. Steven hey. off to a bad start, but Ed taking on Ed with Ed uh -oh. the win. Ooh. Ooh, Ed, Ed is plowing on Steven. Has him right from the second match. Edge. Ooh. 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 Ooh, Steven coming back. Hey. First match. All right. Round one. Fight. So we have. Here, here's Steve. Ed Plowing. Yeah, he won the first match. He won the first match. Uh oh. Steven Ooh, trying to wait. come back. Ed's not gonna let that happen. Steven. Steven is, is a chance, but. But it seems like he's being he, he's being plunged by Ed. Ed. I'm telling you, Bob. Uh, I feel very bad. Uh, this is a very interesting match. Oh no! Steven coming Cole. back! Could Steven make a comeback? He could! It's still, it's, it's, anything can still happen. Kick, nice shadow kick from Ed. Steven, trying to prevent from losing. Nice spark combo. Pulls it off again. Ed trying to attempt the fatal blow. And he gets it. Laser to the head. Ed, Johnny King, taking the camera. Putting it right through his, through her heart. That's gotta be painful. That's gotta be brutal. Uh, oh, Ooh. they need one last hit left. Ooh. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna hit it? Oh, Ed, Ed, Ed. Gets it. Ed. Ed moving Ed on. Ed is moving on. Oh. <laughs> what a gloomy day for Steven. <laughs> oh my. Ed, what did we just witness? Wow. That was an interesting match for sure, Bob. Now we've got Israel Bahina versus Damian Cordova. Ooh. Ooh. Israel versus Israel versus Damian. Chris Plackey is your special guest commentator. No, no, go ahead. Thank you so much, JP. A lot of a lot of interesting matchups we've had so far. Jose, who do we got next? We got Israel versus Damien. Israel and Damien. Two, two Bloody Wars veterans. Israel's mostly known for playing the retro oh. uh, UMK3, MK2. Very, two, two decently players. He's no stranger to the old MK games. And Damien, she's no stranger at all when it comes to these brackets. Living for He's pretty much been in every Bloody Wars. He's he knows the meta pretty well in MK1. I saw him here last weekend doing some practicing. So, 
Delta, we got Damien as the Kung Lao player. And Goro, that's a good that's a good duo. Kung Lao and Goro. And then we got Israel with Baraka. Exchanging blows. The forward three bounce, which is also an overhead. Keeping their distance. Trying to be careful. Israel trying to jump in and try to get some kind of conversion. Forward three. Good anti air with the hat. Goes in for the throw. So from, from my match against Israel, he is doing a lot of jump ins, which could be countered with either an anti air standing one or he can up block. So it, jumping is very dangerous in this game. Sometimes players risk it. You, Just you trying to zone him out. Wow, look, look at that trade. Right, Baraka's air spin move. What is that? Down forward two? Very unsafe. Ooh, good anti air with Goro cameo. Not a bad conversion. We could end the match right here. Five seconds. Got another cameo anti air to close the round. Down two anti air. Israel keep trying to jump in. Tried to do something with that conversion. Let's drop the combo. Yep. Like I said, that spinning blade move, not safe. Oh, conversion with the jump kick into down two. Oh, wasted the armored amplify and got no reward from it. Now they're exchanging blows. A down two anti air. Israel is just sticking with the jumping strategy. That move's not safe. Goro cameo comes out, trying to keep Baraka full screen and zone him out. All you need is a throw. Just chip him out. You got 30 seconds left. Very nice. The Israel choked. Damien taking round one. Don't fatal in the first match. That's gotta hurt. The disrespect <laughs> from Damien doing a fatality in the first match. Are you nuts? That is nuts. You close out your set with that. Yeah. If friendships were allowed, we'd be using those. <laughs> Basically. All right, Damien. Damien or Israel are changing characters. Huh? Yep, Damien is locked in as Kung Lao since he won. Israel switching over to Havoc and Lotharo. Interesting, interesting duo. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that online. A Havoc and Lotharo. You could probably get some good mix ups in there with the Lotharo low projectile. Yeah. Very good teleport. Uh huh. Motaro's teleport is a lot faster than uh, Cameo Kung Lao. But both of them not safe. But then again, I have, I have, very, I have very little knowledge of the MK Oh, Just throwing out cameos. Israel using his armored. Looks like Israel. Okay, got a command grab in there. Punishes the down two. Decent conversion. We got a jump in. Exchanging blows. Down twos are going out. That is not safe. Down two can easily be whip punished by just neutral guns. And I've been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of down twos in this in this bracket here. All right, we got a cameo throw. Just try to zone him out. He's going to jump in. Damien's in fatal blow range. He could hit confirm and fatal and end this round, but no, he's just going to do it. Raw dogging, and he gets it. He knows the tech. He's matching the buttons to get increased damage. 
It's not gonna be enough to kill, but it'll get him close. Oh wait. 40%? Oh yeah, you, you can zone him out. You can pretty much, you can pretty much hear Damien. Uh, you can hear someone try to tap the button and try to break free, but yep. that's not gonna work. Damien on set point. Well, that is a, that is a part of the meta that a lot of players don't know about. In Fatal Blow, you mash the buttons to either increase or decrease damage. It really, really is helpful. Exchanging blows. Changing turns, zoning each other out, jumping in. Havoc doing a lot of jumping. Havoc is not the kind of character that should be in the air a lot. He's more of a grounded character with his command grab, his uh, string that goes into a throw. And by command grab, I mean the roll. You got a forward throw. There's the Motaro cameo. We haven't seen that all match. You thought he'd be put that to good use with zoning or teleporting, but I haven't seen that at all. I haven't seen Motaro or Gore. Zoning out. Israel in fatal blow range. He could draw out the fatal and end his round right now. They're exchanging down twos back and forth. Goes in for the throw. This might kill. And there it is. Damien advances. Damien advances. And goes for another fatal. GG's. Damien moving Coming back. All right, thank you guys so much. I might, I might come back. We'll just wait and see how the rest of the bracket goes. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. All right. Chris Blackie, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm next. Now we've got Jose versus Kiwanis. What's up, DSP? Woo! That was uh that was a match. It was a Israel match. Israel taking out. Damien moving on. Now we've got Jose and Kiwanis. Right. How, how do you feel about these two competitors? These two fighters? Yep. Oh man, I mean Jose has been uh taking some names. So Yes he has. Kiwanis, I don't I don't know if I saw him play, so. They're about to play Jose's right now. He's always a tough opponent. Yes, he is. Really good opponent, too. Shows good sportsmanships all around. Good guy. All right, let's do it. Oh, I love that. The snot rocket. Kano snot rocket. You gotta <laughs> love that. Classic. Classic right, stuff. You were part of Saizot's Shiva Renata. All right. I would have been a fool to Jose with Baraka. And as usual, Kawan is right, with uh, LeMay. Round one. Okay. Already starting off good. Oh yeah, he is. Nice grab from Jose. He's gonna put it to good use. Fatal blow is gonna connect it. He does not miss it. Oh yeah, there you go. Baraka with the win. Jose takes the first round. Round two. Fight. Kiwanis. Oh. Got it wide open. Oh. Miss. Miss Kano. That's some awesome stuff. Defending Barack Stay away from me. Oh, that time it connected from Jose. Kawanis can come back. Jose's got to hold on though, man. He's got to not get hit. Oh, that's it. 
Kiwanis. Now it's a game. He's got it. Kawana's trying to come back. Jose with a nice combo breaker. Oh, that's just a, that's a old school two piece. Left, right, left, right. Kawana's. Uh oh. Takes the first game. Yes, he does. Impressive. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And you were mentioning this in a pre-show a little bit, but yeah, you, you said the old man, the um, your father, the Claremont Street Shuffle, man. Yeah. Yeah. You want to explain that a little bit more? Yeah, you know, like he uh, he grew up on the mean streets of Chicago, man. Claremont Street back in the 1960s is probably his day. And, sure. You know. Uh, Mr. Tobias Sr., he, he grew up like on the same block as my old man. So the Perez's and the Tobias's, they go way back, you know. And so, you know, I don't really know John Tobias. Uh, I do know his old man, you know, and uh, he's a real nice guy. Um, but ever since, you know, 92 when he hit it big and then the movies came out, like it just... Uh, it's so crazy how far it's come though. Look, look at oh, this. Nice like, you know, the blow. original games were, you know, what a time to be alive. Jose coming back with the win. He is coming back. Shady was asking for the winners. I mean, I was going to get to it so I could see Slacky versus Vale. I'm, I'm, I'm already on that. I know that's been hyped up for a while now. Get away from me, Baraka. I wouldn't want him near me either. Yeah. Now, we, we need to get John Tobias out here. Like, yeah. as a special guest appearance, and then you can introduce yourself to that him. That would be awesome, man. Like, yeah. And, like, I'm going to be like, so what's up, man? You know you, you know you put my stand move in the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it all back to him. It'd be interesting to see his, his, his thoughts on that. Get him into Dan Cade. I would love to get him over to Dan Cade, you know? Like, uh, I, I gotta get that midway cabin. It's a, kind of an elusive cabin. It's the one missing from my setup. And I saw one a few months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, actually. I passed on. But they're kind of big, and I don't know. The size had nothing to do with it. It just like, sure. didn't work out in this particular context. Making the beat down right now. That's a good 35% of his health on right in that combo. So he's got to put something together here. Kiwanis with a punish. The One match. last hit from Kiwanis, and he That's gets it. it. Kiwanis moving on. Wow. Good stuff from Kiwanis. Unfortunately, will not be moving any forward in this same St. Patrick's Day. I, I, we gotta do it. We gotta do it on St. Patrick's Day. Next up, we got DSP versus Shady. Uh oh. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> You're getting a taste of Shady today. Norbert Vale, your Bloody Wars champion. That's two times. War champion. Excuse me. <laughs> it's all good. How you doing? Yeah, exactly. Well, How many more times? Well, let's see. All right. Um, Shady getting into work Shady again. Shady versus DSP. And after that, the matchup everyone's been looking forward to. <laughs> you mean the matchup that I've been looking for? But that too. So... How do you feel about this tournament? What, how, what are your thoughts on it? The fact that I'm still somehow surviving kind of says something. Like, modern Mortal Kombat, it's not one of my strong suits. 
Sure. Like, we, we all kind of proved that with MK4, but that one, at least I took top three. But, but, but for this, something like this, oh my god, like, something like this, um, <sighs> I'm surviving. Yeah, I, I, that's I, all you I, can I'm do. Pull, I'm pulling an Indy Cabrera right now and surviving. <laughs> You gotta get him actually out here. Oh, Peacemaker with the win. See, Peacemaker, I know nothing about because I don't have the combat pack. So rumors say when you're playing Peacemaker in MK1, you're um there's a there's a choke slam that Peacemaker does, and then he does a top rope buckle. He he jumps up a top rope from Peacemaker. Uh -huh. I I heard that from. Uh, Oh my god. We get it, Steven! <laughs> oh my god! That's the best. Deadly uppercut! I'm shady! I'm shady! Stone Cold sucks! Stone Cold! Give, 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 me, give me the mic! What is wrong with where, you? Where, where is Stone Cold coming from? Well, it is St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. That's true. We don't know how many of these people have been drinking prior to this tournament, so. Well, that explains a whole lot, Steven. Eagle! 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 Sonic Boom! Used by Shady! Oh my god! He only took 30% of his health back! Oh my god! He's gonna finish him off! Ooh! Shady! Cup pulling off the win. Was it a flawless? No, it wasn't no. flawless. Well, not a single scratch from him. He's using the force field. Oh, jeez. Now, now he's sitting there zoning in the back. He's waiting for DSPs to make a move. Match point for Shady. Oh, my goodness. 10 hit combo. Oh, oh no, it's 11. Following up the eagle and a sonic boom. Oh, and that's oh. Moving on. Oh. And here comes the fatality. What the fuck? He misses the butterfly. Oh, come on. How do you miss the butterfly? Oh, he finally got it. Oh, he missed it again. I think he did it on purpose. I think so too. All right, Shady, moving on. Uh oh, here we go. It it's is time. outside. It's time. Blackie versus Fail. Yeah, round of applause for that. Yeah, it is time. Oh. It's time for the moment of truth. Norbert versus Black Chris versus Blackie. Vail. The 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 one the one match we could have seen in Mortal Kombat Four, but. Due to an uh, unfortunate phone call, we didn't get to see that. <laughs> yeah, that is the unfortunate. But but hey, you got your wish. I did get my wish. You're right. Don't, now, coming. don't get too excited or you might have a heart attack. <laughs> I might. I might. Oh, man. this is, To those that didn't make the tournament, uh -oh, uh, you're missing out. Something's, uh, something's going on with the controls. No, but they're just adjusting their controls. Oh, adjusting. Yeah, this is it. Good luck to uh, Chris and Norbert. Let's see how this is. Yes. Norbert or with Norbert with Sindel and and or and Scorpion is Placky. Hey, yes, let's sir. Let's check it out. You, all right. The, uh, all right. Oh, ooh, oh my God. And Chris already starting in his fatal He's starting blow. off strong. Fatal blows to Norbert. Ooh. God dang. Chris showing no mercy. Not at all. Oh my goodness. Dang. Dang, Norbert's, Norbert is struggling. Oh my god. He is struggling. Chris, not one scratch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Norbert trying to prevent a perfect from Placky. Oh, Norbert came in the first blow, but no, 
Ooh. Ooh, Chris. I'm telling you, Chris spends years in tournaments playing Half of the bar left for more, but yeah, you're not wrong, Jose. He is, you can't blame Chris for that. He has been practicing. So it wouldn't be a surprise if he showed his true skill to the max. You no, know you're not wrong. Uh-oh. Chris Blackie Ooh. kills it. Fatality, Chris no. Wiping the floor. That's one point earned for Chris. Uh-oh. Ooh. The first match, but will, but will things get interesting with the second match? It could. Norbert, what do you got up left up in your sleeve? All right. Norbert switching. Scorpion. Who's it who is it going against? Don't, don't get sub zero. Oh, classic, classic sub zero. Sub zero. Sub zero versus. Sub Zero versus Scorpion. The battle of the rivals is Blackie versus Veil vale with Scorpion versus Sub Zero. It just makes sense. You got it, Bob. It's really good writing, if you ask me. It, it all comes full circle. Oh, nice ground. Jack. Using the camera of the good wood. Putting into the abuse. It's good over here. The spear gun from Chris. Mid air combo. Jack's catching him. 20 hit combo. Oh my goodness. Made a blow. Tap and he gets it. From Norbert. Norbert trying to survive. Chris trying to make sure his damage is reduced. At least we get to see Plaggy versus Bale in the history books. That's what I wanted. Combo breaker from Norbert. Yeah, you got your wish, Josh. I'm happy. Ooh. Ooh. Walking, Norbert Ooh. walking, trying not to get, trying not to mess it up. Chris disabling his cameo. The kid. That vicious combo again. Mid air, Jack's cap catching him. I think Norbert is Norbert laughing it off. Dang. It seems like Chris is gonna have is, is going easy. Now. On this one. Oh, he's he decapitated! Chris Blackie! What's the brutality? This is an easy, easy day for Chris. After that match, the. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. Another promo, maybe? Oh, wow. We got to see it. Blackie moving on. We're, we're going to do a loser's round next. Aiden versus Ed. Aiden versus Ed. Yeah. So, it's my wife's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your she, wife. Do you take requests? She has a request. What's that? Can you burn the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, no, don't say that, Chris. If you do that, he'll, 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 he'll. Good one. That's a good one. Good one. Uh, Chris. Chris, we, but happy birthday to your wife, though. Ha happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to your wife. Her birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. That's cool. Yeah. It's on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but it's officially up for sale. Go to the Bloody Wars Tournament website to get yours today. But anyways, we're seeing... We're, we're seeing... Aiden. Aiden versus Ed. Of course, he's using Johnny Cage. Uh, we and there's some stuttering around here. Will Ed score another win? Or uh oh, here we go! Here we go! Ooh. This is a redemption bracket. 
So this is it. They got a last chance to, to prove themselves. Ooh, Ed lose, is already struggling to aid it. I'm pretty sure Aiden is is seeking is seeking redemption for his father. Round two. Fight. All right. Round one, one for first. Aiden. Round one for Aiden. And already Aiden is wailing on against Johnny Cage. Which, to be honest, nobody likes Johnny Cage. He's a douche. All right. Ooh, Aiden. Aiden as Liu Kang as he wails on Johnny Cage. On Johnny Cage. Oh, Aiden. Liu getting that first point. Ooh, he's gonna do a fatality. Oh, unfortunately, but not. But Aiden still got the first match. Nothing yet. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. That was the. And now they're bringing in the sodas. Oh, they're changing the characters. We're switching. We're switching characters. Ed's not going for Johnny Cage instead, but going for Rain, as I believe. Smoke. Oh, smoke. This is the first time we're seeing smoke. I cannot bring back your. Yeah. Probably Tom hasn't participated. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Yeah. This is it. All right, Aiden with Liu Kang, Ed with Smoke. Smoke. How do you? Uh, do you have you played Smoke before, Jose? Uh, no, I haven't. But I know there's a particular Smoke player who is, and that is Mr. GGA Tommy Waffle. That would have been nice for him though. Perfectly. Half a bar left for Ed. Yeah, but unfortunately, it seems like smoke for Ed is not working out. Definitely uppercut for Ed. As Aiden, as Aiden Liu Kang is still taking the beating against. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere, his father is smiling upon him. On smiling upon Aiden. In the stream. Ooh, but it seems like deadly uppercut from Ed. No, from Aiden. I apologize. Take a fatal blow from Ed. This is Serena. A rebound from Ed. Ed is not. Unfortunately, not as Ed is Fatal blow. Can it? Can it? It does. But Ed striking back. Ooh. Nice. Just a little bit more off the top. Ooh. Oh, fail blow connection mid air. <laughs> he's already dead, Aiden. Dead, Aiden. It's enough. Aiden, Aiden. Ooh, but he scores a fatality. Oh, nice. Ooh, this is fatality. Ripping him in half. He wants to make sure he's dead completely. <laughs> yeah. Aiden, moving on. Aiden. A sad day for Ed. It's gonna be okay. That means we're gonna have me versus Aiden four. Oh. Before we do that, let's get to Damien versus Kowanis. Hey, Steven. Oh, God. Sorry about that. It's like you confused me here. So who are we up to? Damien versus Kiwanis. Okay. That's where we're we at right now. Battle the newcomer versus the veteran. 
Yes, sir. Barber's already calling on Aiden. What? The son of Damien versus Norbert Vale. One of them, anyway. He's got multiple sons. Steven Cordova competed in a tournament but left early. What? Yeah, I don't know what happened. What happened to Devin? Why did he <laughs> Devin did not want to face his own father. Isn't that something? Guess we know which sibling dominates in the family. <laughs> anyway. So we get the names updated up top. Kiwanis. Like Lime on Kiwanis is playing Li Mei versus Kung Lao with Guru as his tag team partner. Tried to use Frost, didn't connect. Nothing yet. A nice grab from oh, Here Frost. we go, Frost. Samuel grab. Drills him in the wall of ice. Spiked ice wall. Trying to do nice spark. Ooh, tried that flip kick. There we go. And Kiwanis. Oh. There we go. Oh, Kiwan Kiwanis takes Kiwanis the first eight. round. Damon trying to do a dash in midair. Sparks all around. And oh, Kung Lao. Smacks her in the face. That was a nice smack if you ask me. Oh, just thrills him. There's the dragon. The purple dragon. Oh, just threw. Her with these, her like a rag doll. Uh oh, Juanis, Juanis, trying to put the punish on Damien. Still even in strength somehow. Damien trying to counter. There he's got the leg sweep. Four combo connect. Through that blaze. Through that beam. Fatal blows available. Can Damien pull it off? And could oh. not execute it. And now Kiwanis with one. Kiwanis gonna take the first match. Yes, sir. Is Damien gonna stick to his character? Oh, uh, looks like he is. No switch. Damien's got to come back here. You've got to. Cross that. Beam of... There we go. And Goro! Lobbers. Lee May. Damien do a little better. Got a better start in this one. Yes, he did. That is for sure. Oh, oh. Got Goro to pound away. Throws the hat. Throw. Doesn't connect. Block. He's got another cameo. Since oh. the dragon. Boom. The main throw from Lim Bay. Oh, he could have grabbed her right there. Yeah, he could have. There we go. Well, got an opportunity for and that's going to do it for this round. No, not oh, yet. Oh, no. Not yet. I thought that was enough. going to be enough. Now that is. is. Damien gets around. He may throw us the lantern up. Pretty much got to throw somebody in the air to connect with it. 
Girl, nice just cameo. Grab brutal shot from Damien. Got four arms. You can do pretty They're much. Trying to read each other. Anything. He's got his own foot on the JP has his foot on the cord here. There we go. My bad. Ah. And well, a that combo was breaker. Broke him up. From Damien. His amplified bar is still full like a punch of and bag. He, This could look very good for him. Definitely got the advantage. And not going to let in. that happen. Try to throw a counter. It's all that ice on the ground. It's something. Main throw Dragon attack. Game is trying to survive. Using Comes the, the fatal blow. Can he get he, he connected with it. Smashing the buttons. Make sure now, he doesn't go. Damien. Oh, oh, got the uppercut. Up with an uppercut. Almost came all the way back, but not to me. Still anyone's match though. The match point for Damien's Kalani. gotta win. Damien's on the brink here. Oh, frozen in midair. And a good hard That's kick it. to the face. Don't on. Oh, no, oh. And Damien in He's big trouble. Oh! Damien's gonna have to use a fatal blow here. Is at the house of the bar. Well, he's down to. Actually, he does not have fatal blow available. Oh, so oh, it's over. Kalanis, moving on. Set the it newcomer upset. defeats Damien. Hey, give newcomers a chance. Uh, he got his chance, and he's proven himself. So Moana's moving on. The newcomer. So oh, guess going. what? Loser round number five. Shady versus Chris Plackey. Chris Plackey. Semifinals. Woo! This is, this is probably going to be the match of the night. Yes, it These will. are probably the two best players we have here. That they uh, uh -oh. can uh, get that combo and keep it going and about take about 75% of your health bar. As I'm noticing on Josh's shirt, it seems like he got Placky's name wrong. We're not going to talk about that. You know, how many times have we uh, mentioned that so far? But, you know. Surprised you haven't given me static for uh They have faced each other in a turn letters of your name. So they're no strangers. They're not Don't strangers worry, to each I'm other. Too nice, man. Nah, yeah, I'll fix it when I get home. Pull up the computer, start doing some graphical editing. But I should have had right, Samantha do all the graphics for me. Shay using pacemaker. I don't care about Lucy, but actually, I'm more mad that you got my name wrong, actually. I take that back. Oh my god. Even even amount of mine so far. Here we go. Peacemaker is on his fatal blow. Well, that was going on while we were uh, kind of bantering here. Ah! And Blackie takes the first round. Wow. He's actually taking the first round against Shady? What? Ground and pound from Jax. Combo breaker. Shady. 
There's Black, he's still amplified. I'm telling you, after years of tournaments outside of the GTA on Mortal Kombat oh. 1, this is about to happen. Okay, Shady, Shady's trying to come back. This round is in favor of Shady. Shady's in favor. Nope. Chris Plackey wins today. Wins it all. This will be his uh, fourth championship. First non GTA title. Ooh, Chris Plackey. Uh oh. Wow. Shady has found his match. This is way different. Oh, they're in the same characters. And, and the Nothing first changed. match goes to Blackie. Now, what's the moment of truth? Who will Blackie win the second match and complete, or will Shady come back? Right. Nice sweep from Chris. Force field around Shady. Trying to be careful. Shady making the comeback. He needed to. Nice oh, job from Shady Chris. looks like it's almost. They get there. He oh, got there. Won the Shady coming back. First round. First round, exactly. Since the eagle. Oh, man. Shady trying to come back. Shady has got, got going against Chris Blackie. Wow, using the force spear gun block by that force field. Bates of Rage and his peacemaker overpowered. It's looking like it. Blackie finally is starting to land some offense. Oh, that eagle. Throws a grenade. Oh, he hit his own man, Striker. Oh, and he's a advantage. Nothing yet. Oh, Shady and coming back. Ties it up. Ties it. Let's go. The second match go to Shady. Now, who will take the further? Wow. Who would it be Placky versus Shady? As a matter of fact. Jax. Quarter. And Jax. Sonic Boom again. Trying to sweep Placky. Nice mid air combo. Catching Shady off guard a little bit. Oh, heads. Oh, heads. Oh. Alright, so I bet I'm playing. There's Blacky. Trying to look for an opening. Both of these guys can use their fatal blow. Ooh, Black, wacky, wacky taking the first, first round. Right. Sorry about it. Eagle. Oh. Using the eagle. Sonic boom from Peacemaker. Alright. A rubber match. And Shady get an early lead on this. God. If anyone's Blackie. game so far, Shady now looking getting like he's in the lead. In trouble here. Oh no. Force field's up. I spun it. Jack's coming in. Well, Shady's. Still in the He's lead here, and this blow. may be it. it. This is gonna be it. Well, it's 
Smashing buttons in the background. This is, sure this is not enough. This match has been Whoa. a very He needs one last hit. Combo breaker use. This has been a tight and roll match. Oh, baby. Coming back. This wow. has been a all of his last hit. That was too close. This so has so close. far had been a tug of war match between Shady and Black. So wow. Do you agree, Josh? Yeah, I definitely agree with you, Jose. This is not over yet. These are this is the entertaining, entertaining match two points. Competitors in this tournament so far. Blackie trying to block everything. Three. Got the spear gun, got the uppercut, starting to juggle, and it was broken, broken up. Oh, he tried to shoot the ground. Oh, no. Blackie moving in. He's not going down hard without a fight. Oh, shot to the foot. Oh, drilled him. Oh, torpedo counter. Shady! It's about... Oh, Blackie hanging on by a thread. Blackie's in danger. Oh! So, oh, Shady! And down. Moving on. Shady moves on. Finishing off with a fatality. Oh, it seems like Clacky had a good run, but it seems like Shady... Another walk-off win. And now, Shady's guaranteed into the finals. Norbert versus Aiden Cordova. I'm willing, I'm willing to tell you, if, if Norbert wins... Let's get to Alright. Your turn, Dave. Your turn, Damien. All right. Oh, my God. This is an intense tournament, man. Yeah, it is. The battle. This, this could look like a future grand finals match. Yes, definitely. Unless if Aiden can pull this off. Norbert player one. Aiden just needs to keep a cool head and uh, stay collected, and uh, he, he'll be able to pull it off. Oh, I'm, I pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Impressive stuff from both, all participants, everyone. Oh, my God. All right. And it looks like Aiden's using Baraka. Yes, and sir. Norbert's using Sindel. Jeez. Oh, all right. Here we go! Right? Aiden started off with zoning. Looks like they're both doing a little bit of zoning right now. They're trying to read each other out. Aiden with the first two hit combo. Watch those overheads. There you go. This is a impressive stuff in Aiden. Uh-oh. Pretty neck and neck so far. It is. Now, this is... The, Aiden's on a mission here. If he wins, we're going to have a new champion. Yes. So, that's well, something that he's got to keep in mind. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. This is, the, this is the loser's round, so... He's got to have a hot... He's got to... Have a focus. You gotta focus on this match. Well, it looks like it's in his favor so far. First Round one, one game. Go for Aiden. Gotta watch the overhead. He definitely does. He, he definitely needs to watch it. Oh, look at Aiden. Gorber trying to come back. Nice 
Nice combo the breaker from Norbert. Or from Aiden, my apologies. There we go. Uh -oh. Okay. Norbert, nice cop. Nice. Uh, he's just trying to come back. Nice counter. And hits him with the fatal blow. Nice. They're mashing. They're mashing to get that advantage. One last hit. Oh, oh Aiden gets Aiden it. with the spark. Nice. The last spark to earn his first point of the match. Wow. Aiden. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Aiden. Yeah. Aiden, for sure. See if he can keep that momentum going. I'm pretty sure he can. I have full cop. I'm confident with Aiden. I, I am as well. As long as he keeps watching the overheads. Oh, that was unexpected. A very. Oh, nice counter. Nice counter attack from Norbert. Half of the bar left from both, both participants. Shelly uppercut from Aiden. Uppercut yeah, from Norbert as well. Try to use that mind control, uh, like the Samuel mind control. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna go connect. Yeah, it's there. Norbert got the first one. round goes to him if Aiden, if Aiden wins this round he, he's still in the game and he just eliminates the champion yeah let's see how he does he's keeping that stage control keeping composure Keeping Norbert in the court, and the last grab, Aiden takes it. Kiwanis. I'm kind of stunned. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm stunned too. Stunned outcome. Stunning yeah. outcome. Wow. Aiden moves on. He's put. He play, He put the champion away. I didn't think. It. So we're gonna get a new champion today. Wow. For the second time, we're seeing a new champion. DSP versus Kiwanis. It's like I'm going to have to get Aiden on the podcast soon if he wins the whole thing. Yeah, he's definitely a good member you can interview, Steven. All right, let's get on with the match, shall we? All right. Raiden versus Lee May. Yeah. 
Norbert. All right, Norbert fail. Ah, uh, your reaction. Ah. Uh. Aiden and I were now two and two. I feel like this could be our own little version of the best of seven challenge. Do you want to do a best of seven challenge with uh, Aiden? I feel like that's the cool last so far. We already won a four straight tournament. Oh. They aren't random games, but like they don't blow a random from Aiden. It. Would it be? Would anything change? Hey, you know what? It is what it is, man. I mean, I give Aiden props. Now, Damien trains well. You know, yeah. And now we've got DSP. Yeah, we could. Actually, since you had the four matches, you just need three more. You could draw you a random game for the last three. Well, either that or it's either that Takes or... it. We're round number one. Whatever the next tournament is. Whatever the nickname is, who knows? Which will be in May. May what? Ah, who knows? I may be busy. Who knows? As long as you're not the weekend of combo breaker. Well, yeah, Memorial Day weekend, yeah, it would be foolish to have Play Wars on Combo Breaker weekend. Anyways. Other states usually the second or third su the second Sunday of the month. Ever, the Sorry. Sorry, JP. No, you're fine. You're good. Half of the bar left from BSP. Kiwanis trying to come back. He's, he's pretty strong in this tournament so far. He's been pretty impressive. Aiden is too. Who did he? Who did Quans lose to in the first? Who did Quans lose to earlier tonight? Kiwanis. Uh, let's look that up. Kiwanis takes the first one. Shady. He lost to Shady. Shady. So, I don't know. Quantz has gone pretty far into this, and it's like That's he just one point had earned that bad luck of drawing a tough competitor in the first round. Oh. Raiden. Oh, Raiden with a throw. DSP. Serena just throws Li Mei around. Ross drills him through the wall. Using that cam cameo thing. Iced him again. Oh, he almost went for three. Wadis. Got Lee May on the ropes. DSP in trouble. Oh, this is only the first match. Thin eyes. Cute. Wow. Lee May takes the first round. Wow, this has been pretty impressive. Maybe we'll see more of him. We might. Hey, the cannabis, Steven. That lantern not nice used. Grab. Drills in from the dragon shot. There we go again. Grab. Frost in the ice the wall. Frost stuffed him up. Oh, freezes him. You know, I've not seen anybody use Sub Zero and Frost together as a team. Yes, we have seen that. We have, yeah. Be constantly freezing the opponent and giving them an uppercut. Go on as these one last hit to move on. Could he get that? And he does. Go on this. Moving it's the on. the first match. No, it's the second match. Oh, it was two. Okay. Go on is moving on. DSP eliminated. And now we've got Aiden Cordova versus Kiwanis. All right, Aiden. You too. And Kiwanis. No rest for uh, Kiwanis. Not at all. If you're trying to go for the top. Facing off against the kid who knocked out the champ. Aiden Cordova.
Juanis opting to stay on the player two side. Braca versus Lime again. Lime and Braca pretty much been the most popular two characters in this tournament. We're gonna go straight into it. Yeah, exactly. Aiden and Kiwanis. He's using Baraka this time. Deadly uppercut from Baraka. Ooh, nice combo from Aiden. Lee May was one of Lee May's first appearance in the Mortal Kombat series. Basically, as a prisoner forced to fight in this tournament. That's right. Aiden then, with the first round. The ending, not a good, not a happy ending for Lee May. But they uh, changed her character for the. Uh, and now it's the timeline changeover. And now. Taking and, off. Yeah, we're taking off, man. So I just want to say thanks for having us over. Good tournament, and we had the best man winning the uh, grand final. More prevail, ladies and gentlemen. As of right now, Kawan is trying to come back. It looks like he's going to. Throws the lantern up, but it just floats away. Throwing the purple laser, I guess. That's right. Down low, either side could do a fatal blow here. Neither one chooses. Uh oh, fatal Double blow! Oh, oh Lee May counters. Lee May with the counter stops the fatal blow. Now, uh oh, so it, it all comes down to this round. This is the first match, by the way. It is not playing any games. Bonus can do a fatal blow if he can. Aiden, oh, it's too take late. The first match. Aiden gonna win this. Aiden is the winner no, no. of first, the first match. Yes. The first match. one nothing. It's like we're getting ourselves confused here. No, that's good. We're, they're changing characters. Going, uh oh Koan is trying to change his character. Well, they're thinking about changing. Juan is going to switch Oshawa. it up. This is the first We're, appearance of this character in the entire tournament. We haven't seen this character in the tournament. There's a lot that have not been used through this tournament. For sure. The suffering makes me stronger. Alright, so whoever wins this match will go against Chris Blackie. And that match will... And that match... Well, determined. We will go against Shady for the undisputed bloody war championship. Wanna? Oh. oh, throws that sword. Ashra, basically a, I guess redeemed demon, would yeah. fit right in with um, what has been hotel. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Brandon's not here, but he <laughs> into that series. Oh well. Uh. He'll probably be the last time. Oh, yeah. But that's for another. That's for another topic. That's Kiwanis on. on the brink here. He could do a fatal blow. Ain't about ready to finish this round and gets it. And now, 
And Aiden going to town already. Kawanis has got to win this match to continue. Uh oh. Flashes him up. Flashing. Kawanis finally getting the lead here. Oh no! Aiden. Aiden coming Evenly back match. here. So far. Though they're not quite round. evened up yet. Fatal blow. Both sides could do a fatal blow here. They're stuck. Oh, lands it. There we go, fatal blow! No! Blocked! Kwanis could do one. He's not, he's not gonna let that happen though. Oh! Kwanis Astra wins this round. Final round. And they're up against each other here. Oh, Aiden in trouble. Early. This might get tied up here. This might. Change of fighters seems to have worked for Kiwanis. Ah, oh, but Aiden makes him pay. Makes him pay. Aiden coming back. Oh, counter. Get those combos. Oh. Aiden has Ashra in a corner. Don't want to be on the back of the back of the wall. Fatal blow. Can Kwanis get a fatal blow in? Oh, good Aiden move up. Here we oh, go. It's definitely a oh, Blocked. combo breaker. Blocked by the combo breaker. And Aiden, Last one more hit, hit, and it's... And he gets, gets it. it. Aiden, Aiden, moving on. And now he goes on to face Chris Blackie. Wow. Chris Blackie Blackie coming in. And here we go. Damien, you should step up here because it's your son after all. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Steven. Wow. Aiden's making it this far. Now he's got a big challenge ahead of him. Former Galloping Ghost Gamer of the Year, Chris Plackey, is on the table. Yes, it's oh. not going to be easy for Aiden, um, but Aiden's not going to make it easy for Chris either, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Alright, here we go. Mid-air combo. Oh, missed it. Missed this signature combo. Oh, mid-air combo. Chip damage. Wow. For the Shrider Ryu. Spear gun. Made a signature combo once again pulled from Placky. I'm surprised I haven't seen Chris use a uh, Baraka. He used Baraka, yeah, he used Baraka most of the tournament in the game. Oh, he missed the Albuquerque. Uh oh. Aiden trying to come back. Oh, decapitated! Woo! Left him clean wide open. Wow. That's one for Chris. Why did I put damage? It? <laughs> it's like you're playing. <laughs> oh 
almost up. Oh. That's half of the bar left. Yeah, that's one of those moves that just reset the life though. Damn it, no. Nice breaker. Now, Chris Blackie's looking for a punish. Mid-air combo again. Fatal blow this time. Oh, missed it. Just gotta stay focused. Spear gun again. Lay there combo again, once again. Half of the bar left from Aiden. It is in trouble. I'm trying to counter with an uppercut. There we go, don't give him room. It looks like he's gonna pull us up. Until oh, nice breaker. And it's over. It is all over. Chris Placky versus Shady is up next for the Undisputed Bloody War Championship. Wow, all right, it is now time for Placky and Shady. Main sh event. All right, take a brief intermission here. All right, so That's top, all right, so top matches that you've seen today. It has to be, well, obviously, Placky versus Vale. I got to represent. And then I kind of like the, the duo with uh, Placky and Shady. There, listen, have you seen the semifinals? Yes, that and that was, you know, that was the one that I was, I was waiting to see. Oh, it looks like we got Shady coming up. Uh oh, this is it. All right. Shady going in as player two. Third place. At least Aiden goes home with third place. That is nothing to sneeze at either. That is true. I mean, how many? How many of us were in this like game? Probably like 17, 17 around there. About what you think. It was. It's a good tournament. Very yeah. good tournament. Hell of a turnout too. Yeah, it was really good. Here we go. All right, we got the rematch going. Force field. All right. They're not wasting any time. Nice breaker. Right. Oh man, Rick coming back. Nice first round from Blackie. Uh-oh. It all comes down to this match. Who will walk home with the Nobel Prize? First Blackie with a spear gun. Finish combo release. Oh, interrupted with a combo breaker. The problem with the combo breaker is with the combo breaker, it takes all your meters plus one. Yeah. is worth it or not. Wow. Chris Black is out of the health of his half of the health box and Chris Black is left. Chris takes it. Oh, he ain't wasting. She ain't wasting any time. That's one point for Sh Chris. Uh oh. Oh my God. 
was really gonna come close. Trying to do, try to do a spirit gun on Shady. Pulling the eagle. Oh, and he misses. Trying to measure each other out. Shady trying to do a counter. Spear gun. Combo breaker. Nice. Uh-oh. Putting Jax to good use. Teleporting from Chris. Shady trying to come back. He's on his health. Fatal blow. Shady's in danger. Sonic boom from Shady. They're changing. Match point for Chris. Uh oh! What? Round two. Fight. Oh no, you know what? Yeah, he's right. Cause after, cause if Chris Blackie wins, then they get another. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not over yet. Combo breaker. Teleportation from Chris. Yeah, that was. Nice throw from Shady. Spear gun from Blackie. Hey, man, and a fatal blow. Looks like Chris has won that one. Yeah, Chris is just going to so win. So we're it. on to the grand finals now. Shady versus Blackie. Shady gave up. This is for everything. This is a championship match right here. I kind of figured I was hoping there was going to be a different match lined up or someone that could beat Shady, but it looks like it's in favor of Chris Blackie. He looks like he's coming back. It looks like Chris Yeah, he's he's been a dominating competitor for a long time. I mean, he's. Showed me a few things that made me change, change up my whole game plan. So here's a nice breaker, nice breaker from Shady. Force field for Peacemaker. Oh, oh with the ex. Peacemaker takes Shady it. Takes the first uh -oh. round. Round two. Nice breaker from Blackie. Get themselves in the distance. Chris Blackie cornered. Spear gun. Spinner combo. Sonic boom from Shady. Oh. Oh, you gotta finish that combo. Shady gets it. That's one point for Shady. They're not wasting any time. You're not wasting any time because you want to get right into it. Oh, Black is in danger. 
He's cornered. Spear gun from Blackie. Oh, not this time. Doing that combo. He gets it! Oh, Chris is gonna get it. Round one. Oh, boy. Oh, man. 30% damage on from Chris. Combo breaker now. Almost a flawless from some shady. Oh, Alright. Oh, his way out. For now. Nice block. Combo breaker. Wow! Uh oh. She's gonna take it. So this match, or this round, determines what, what's gonna happen. Holy shit. Chris with the amplified kill. Jay with the force field. Spear gun. Oh, Chris. Mid air combo. Oh, Up with that. Force field. Force field. Force field. Nice grab. With the shield and everything. And John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> Peacemaker! Spear! Oh! He, he missed the combo! It is all over! Shady is your new Bloody Rose Champion! <laughs> He's grabbing a... He's just breaking the rules now. <laughs> Go right ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back to present the Bloody Wars Championship and the prizes. Stay tuned.
What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is JP Pitts, your host of the Bloody Wars Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bloody Wars Tournament from Mortal Kombat 1 has reached to its conclusion. I gotta say, that was an awesome tournament that I just witnessed, and everyone had a good time, and thank you so much for everyone that came out for Mortal Kombat 1. And now we will present our prizes today. So our third place winner for the Bloody Wars Tournament is Aiden Cordova. Aiden, congratulations, man. How did it feel uh, that you won in third place, you know, out of 17 people and really good people in the tournament? So, And you came out as third. How's it, how do you feel tonight? I feel really good. You know, I've seen, like, a lot of fights, a lot of uh, really great potential. You know, everyone had their own thing going on. And, you know, everyone, it was variety. There was variety in it. And you finally got your... Um, Plucky versus Veil, I noticed. And I sure did. No phone calls needed at that time either. <laughs> now, uh, tell me, um, how long did you have that under your shirt? Like, uh, even if you didn't get a Plucky versus Veil, would you just still have it under your shirt? I would have ripped the shirt off by now. It would have been, it would have been cool, but it would have been the wrong timing. But um, yeah. So that's good for you, Aiden. I'm, I'm so happy you guys made it out here. I, I've seen you've got the, the spawn, the spawn that little action figure. So good kudos to you and here's your cash money price sir thank you so much for being here Aiden Cordova ladies and gentlemen <laughs> next up folks your second place winner for the Bloody Rose Tournament give it up for Chris Blackie <laughs> Chris once again you're still coming out here when there's a Mortal Kombat tournament on the table still coming out here to support and you had a big you had a big grand finals on the table with Mortal Kombat 1 with Shady it was neck to neck almost how how did you feel tonight it was pretty good um you know Shady and I we we do some casuals from time to time so it was nice to you know give him some kind of competition make him a little nervous and but you yeah. did you did make him nervous. I got a win so that I sent him to losers and yeah that was that's good enough for me yeah, I got a win from him for sure, for sure. So um, now that you know Mortal Kombat One, I mean, you're you're obviously you're, you're obviously involved in the FGC, getting deeper into it. Uh, combo Breaker on the way. You're definitely gonna join uh, Combo Breaker for sure. If MK One's on the table for sure. Um, but regardless, what which car which action figure did you get? It was the Night Wolf. He, he was my. He was my main in MK11, so it's... That makes sense, right? Nice, yeah. nice. Well, good for you, Chris. Thank you for coming out here. Here's your cash money price, sir. Thank you so much for being here. Chris Placky, ladies and gentlemen. And, and we can finally put the, the Placky and Veil thing to rest now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for. Your first place winner and new... Undisputed Bloody Wars champion, GGA Shady. What's up, Shady? Good to see you. Congratulations on the Bloody Wars championship uh, uh, belt. You got a belt, and now, well, which which character did you get? Did you get Scorpion? Scorpion. Nice. Not a bet, not at all. How'd you feel tonight? I felt good. Um, I knew Chris Blackie was gonna give me a run for my money. I didn't know it was going to be that close. He, <laughs> he had me thinking I was going to lose up there, but thankfully we clutched it out. It was pretty neck and neck, and I know you've been uh, playing with different characters. You used, uh, back in the day, you used uh, was Luke Kane, and then now you had an adjustment with the new character out with Peacemaker. So what was the difference between you playing with Luke Kane and uh, Peacemaker? Uh, the difference is um, Peacemaker's buttons aren't as fast as Luke Kang's, so I have to drastically adjust the game plan. You can't just keep running into Scorpion because you need spears in your face. So, you know, I just want to play the mid-range instead of rushing him down and, you know, try to outzone him and keep him away with my guns. Absolutely. <laughs> Those guns are, you definitely had an advantage with that. So now the big question on your mind. Are you ready for Monday Night Raw? Oh, I'm ready. And I can't wait to bring this belt with me. We know we're definitely going to bring the bell with us. Uh, on top of that, congratulations. Here's a cash money prize. Ladies and gentlemen, get it up for GGA Shady. Congratulations, Shady. All right.
Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to the tournament. This was an awesome, you know, awesome, uh, awesome tournament for everyone to watch. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for everyone participating. Couldn't have a great tournament without you guys. And I know the next Bloody Wars tournament is going to get people shaking up a bit. And now that we have a new Bloody Wars champion in the books, we're going to... Uh-oh. What's up, Steven? What's up? I'll see you for the best of seven uh -oh. rubber match. Uh oh He's calling me out already. Yeah, I'll see you too, Steven. I'll see you too. Anyways, so yeah, couldn't done it with everyone here. Thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you guys in the next stream. Until then, folks, this is JP Pitts, your host of the Bloody Wars Tournament. For more information on how you can sign up today, just visit www.bloody-wars-tournament.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this stream, and we will see you in the next one.